Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, three, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room coming to you live from Burridge, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. What is going on, everybody? I'm your host, Robbie Leadliner Lopez, and always I got Steven Ryan with me tonight. Uh, filling in. Feel good to fill in for someone, you know. Yeah, Give a little couple, up. you know, stepping up to the plate, filling in and everything. How's everybody doing on this uh, closing weekend? Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. Went to the Dodgers uh, Cubs game yesterday, took my nephew. Great to see uh, Otani and this new guy, Yamamoto, man. Yamamoto. This guy is just... I sat right behind home plate, and some of the stuff looked like was balls, and they turned into strikes. I mean, yeah. he has some nasty stuff. I was seeing some of it. It was pretty Oh, intense. my goodness. But, hey, as, as much as nasty as he's got, we've got some nasty stuff here in the break room because, ladies and gentlemen, we did drop that new vault. We actually paired it with the old and the new. So there is a lot of good helmets out there in that vault and we'll get to a uh actually we don't have no pre so what we're going to do is we're going to do the dice find out what our dice roll is and our chase wheel spin and then we'll go do a quick rundown give you guys an idea what is new in that vault series so you guys can see uh actually go out there and hunt in that vault series not even in the vault series the diamond series too the college series is so much uh left out there in the college series the one and four um a lot, a lot including that old vault so yeah some that. amazing things so let's head over to our break page or the randomizer i should say i was watching uh mlb <laughs> <laughs> here is the dice roll we are looking for six or higher and uh eight again look at that eight that works it's been an eight kind of day crazy eights here's the chase wheel spin folks this is what everybody's pretty much looking forward to Whatever this lands on is going to determine how many breaks you guys get into. And then at towards the end of the show, or when we uh, start to wrap things up, we'll take that list of names that bought into that break. And then after the eighth and final dice roll, if your name is at the top of the list, congratulations. You'll head over to the Chase Wheel Spin, where you'll have an opportunity to win a $100 gift card courtesy on us here in the break room. And... Uh, Without further ado, let's go find out what we're chasing, everybody. Again, hopefully it's the vault. But hey, look at this is even better than the vault. We got the one and four as the chase today. I should say tonight. So one and four is a fantastic series to get into as well. Yes. Eight is our dice roll. We'll go and put our chase as the one and four. 
Perfect. I'll open up the randomizer, folks. Actually, let's go. Let's keep it on because we're gonna head over to our break page since there's no pre-fills. I know we're really close to uh, actually wrapping up some of these breaks that you folks are getting into. So here we go. Did I refresh that? I did. So everything that I'm about to highlight, be sure to read over. This explains everything, how our break room works. We go live from 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. How you can watch us on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, all at Ultimate Autographs. And our most important part, the rules and guidelines. This explains all types of rules that we have here in the break room. And I'll let you guys know what happens when there's a tie or a human or a computer mistake. Everything is explained. So I highly suggest that you read into that. There's a short video for your folks to uh, watch. And then as you scroll down, here are the breaks for every single day, including today. And starting off, we have the college with five spots to go at 142, a double box break. This is a great price for what is inside this break. And some of the stuff that we're still looking for in the college is that Deion Sanders, Florida State, FSU. He's authentic. And then we've got OJ Simpson on this chrome. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, a chrome. It's a rep, but you're still getting a fantastic lick, especially with that yellow ink on the Trojans. This theme is phenomenal. Eric Dickerson is out there, ladies and gentlemen, and he's authentic also on the SMU. This thing is a gnarly one. Also looks like chrome, too. A couple chrome lids out there. Adrian Peterson on the Oklahoma Sooners, authentic. We also have a Warren Sapp on that Midnight Helmet. Brandon told me about this. It's a Midnight, a uh, University of Miami Hurricanes. Uh, he's also got his buddy out there, also, Reggie Wayne. He's on that flat black uh, University of Miami Hurricanes. Jerome Bennis, any Notre Dame people out there? Because we've got not only Jerome Bennis out there, we also have Tim Brown. These guys are both authentics. Then my Illinois people out there. I know Colin wish he was uh, not working with us. Uh, he would love to get his hands on that Dick Buckus, Illinois. Uh, he is a rep, though, folks out there. And then we've got Champ Bailey on the rep with the Georgia Bulldogs. And again, Reggie Wayne is also a rep. So those are the headliners, photo headliners. We're also looking for three secondary headliners in Jim Kelly, James Cook, and Sam Bradford. Obviously, Sam Bradford from Oklahoma. James Cook, I can't remember where he went to college. Um... And Jim Kelly, Jim Kelly, where did Jim Kelly go? Jim Kelly, Miami. Miami, okay. Yeah, he went to Miami. And James Cook, do you know any, where James Cook went to? Florida State. Florida State. I think he went to Florida State. I'll, go, I'll, I'll check on that real quick. That one I can't remember. Um, hold on one second. Either way. I don't think he's Florida State, though. You're getting a fantastic lid with those secondaries. So, again, in that... Study up college. We're down to 25 boxes. Out of the 25, we've got 13 headliners. So that means we are going to have 12, I like to call them hidden gems out there because you have no idea what you're going to uh, wind up in that hidden gem section. Here is the double up, uh, or I say it's the double box diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we are only four to go. In that double box diamonds with 180 of the price to get in as a spot I say I like to tell you guys don't really worry about that price because a lot of the stuff that's in these diamonds are valued well over 180 for a spot so definitely you're getting your money's back and plus more if you guys land on one of these awesome headliner helmets in the diamonds like Reggie Wayne mr. Uh, Peyton Manny's favorite target when he was with the Colts. We also are looking for Devontae Adams. And believe it or not, for 180, I guarantee you that Aaron Donald speed flex is well over that price. So if you imagine getting the NFC West and you land on Aaron Donald's speed flex, you have made your money's worth back and much more. We got Jamar Chase on the Bengals camo and then our secondary headliners 
Kenneth Walker III is out there. Will Anderson, Defensive Player of the Year last year. Uh, hey, this team is getting loaded for that NFC South with Def, uh, Stefan Diggs going over there now. Look out for Houston. And we're looking for Jim Kelly. There he is again. Jim Kelly is all over this uh, break room here in the college, and now he's in the diamonds. So 17 boxes left in those diamonds with seven headliners, and now we're going to have 10 hidden gems coming out of that. Three to go in this one and four double box. Again, this is the chase wheel spin, folks. And we're still looking for that Ozzie Smith with the backwards flip that this guy did in his celebra uh, celebration when he wins the game. He would always do a backflip. I, I have a vague memory of him, but I remember my dad watching him. And uh, I remember him doing a backflip. Yeah, that's his signature right there, right? Every every time he played the Cubs, they, he would do a, a backflip. And it usually beat us. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so he is actually the, uh, and then we're looking for, uh, Miggy, Miggy Miguel Cabrera. That dude. Your Detroit Tigers, Mr. Triple Crown winner. This mm. guy did it all for the Detroit Tigers. He's on that wonderful bet out there. And then we're looking for the basketball, Mr. Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, from your Houston Rockets during those days. Uh, when he played with the bull uh, against the Bulls, yeah, I mean, Michael Jordan had a, a tall task when they played for the Alex Strider. What's going on, Belly Bomb? Nico showing off his win or off his glove? Oh, what does it say? At WN, <laughs> oh. I don't know what WN. Is. I'm not sure, but he made a nice <laughs> diving catch. That's what I saw. Okay. So, welcome, Alex Dreyer. Welcome, everybody. 19 of you guys watching across all 13. Of, or 13. I wish we had 13 platforms. Watching all three of our platforms on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Now it jumped up to 21. Welcome, everybody. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Sunday night here in the break room uh, across the whole entire country? I know everyone's pretty much gearing up for the most important night if you're not a wrestling fan. But, yes, it is WrestleMania night, too. Believe it or not, night two. Oh, he's meant he meant second at second. Um, so I know a lot of people are probably eager to get uh, watching some WrestleMania, which is pretty much kicking off here shortly. It probably just did. Actually, James Cook went to Georgia. Georgia. Sorry, I got that off. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Georgia. That's, through, that's my we, fault. We were way off. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking so, of his brother Dalvin. So, so Jeff. Oh, Dal Dalvin. That's his Florida. brother. Yeah, I think so. Wow. So those are your three photo headliners in that one and four, not to mention a bunch, and I mean a bunch of secondary headliners. We're looking for Johnny Bench, John Daly. Where are my golfers out there? We've got the Masters coming up here next week. Uh, it's the most important. It's probably the most uh, fun golf outing. Um, that's one of the things I want to go to. Okay, I want to go to Augusta. Enough. I just want to experience yeah. that atmosphere. That makes sense. Uh, George Kittle, my 49ers. Where's Gisela Luster out? Uh, Luster, I know she's out there. Big, huge 49er fan out there. Uh, unfortunately, he's on a Funko Pop. So probably not a lot of people into... I know I am. I got a big collection of Funko Pops. I think they're pretty gnarly. Lance Berkman and Gary, uh, Gary Payton and... Steve Yarrison. Lance Berkman get the pole? No. I'll make sure. I saw him back there. That's why. Okay. So Steven says maybe Lance Berkman got pulled, but we're going to double check on that. So, uh, But then we got our hockey guy, our Detroit Red Wings. I know I'm a huge ho uh, hockey guy, big Blackhawks guy, and uh, I give you guys a big old Detroit sucks. <laughs> um, and then Gary Payton. Back when he was with the Super Sonics. I'm, this is one of the basketball teams that I'm dying for this team to come back. This organization to come back. They were such a good organization back in the 90s. Especially when they were uh, playing against the, the Bulls in the playoffs. I mean, this team was fun to watch. But yeah, that looks like Lance Berger still there. Okay. It was a different Lance Berger than I was looking for. So one in four, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to 21 boxes, nine headliners out of those 21 boxes. That means we're going to have 18. I take that back, not 18. 
Uh, was my math? Nine and twenty-one. Nine and twenty-one. It's a little under fifty percent right yeah, now. Yeah, there is but, a little, little under, but that's okay. But again, so there's a lot games. of a lot of secondary hits to be mentioned mm-hmm. or to be pulled in the one and four. And it's the best odds in the room. Oh, it is one and four. You're getting four shots, so you're getting football, basketball, baseball, and everything else. So four shots to win something, and that is sitting three spots remaining. Two fifty two is the price. Again, don't really want to pay attention. It's one twenty six for the single. Yeah, oh yeah, it's one twenty six for the single, which is right here, and that is again sitting at four spots because it's a four spot break. Here we go in that, uh, also in the college, we also have it for a single box too. So four spots to go in that one at $71 the price. Here is that new vault. Uh, looks like we're seven spots to go at 168 well, Actually, it's price. actually four spots to go because okay. I, I, I didn't realize that there were three rollovers from the previous vault double. I'm guessing we all just want to go on to the next vault double. If you guys want a refund, if you are, um, let me see here, if you are Michael Neiman, Chris Kohler, or Seth Agui, if you guys want a refund, Agui, if you want a refund, I'll happily give it to you. But honestly, I'm just guessing you're going to want to go into this old and new vault. That would just seem to be the most fair thing because of the hell it's about to show up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's no additional cost or anything like that. So, nope. I would just keep those spots. So. Hey, kudos to you guys, because you get a chance to not only get an opportunity at an uh, old one, but then a new one, too. Yeah. So here is that new vault, ladies and gentlemen. Every headliner out there is still available, including the Barry Sanders on The Authentic. Barry Sanders? Yep. Barry Sanders Authentic Camo with two inscriptions. you got the Lion King on there and his signature Dick Buckus on that Bears orange alternative not alternative alternative uh helmet it's a rep though not too bad to, for a dick buckus there's Deion sanders on the flash dallas cowboys i love these flashes i'm actually in the process of trying to turn my collection into all flashes right now so brian dawkins on the salute to service last year's salute to service hey jonathan taylor check out this colts i mean wow as a rep, that's not bad of a lid for a rep. It's that, a pretty pretty gnarly. I don't know if that's a slate. It, I'm, I but that kind of looks like a slate. I've never seen does. that before. Talk about a guy that's forgotten about, Jonathan Taylor. I mean, yeah, this guy got paid just last year. No, he actually didn't get paid last year. No, they tagged they him. They tagged him. Yeah. That's right. So we're. Who knows what is going to happen with this guy, but I'm sure he's got a lot to prove come uh, this upcoming season. A.J. Brown, the new salute to service uh, on the rep. So there are your... I'm missing one more. Am I missing one? So Dick Buckus, Deion Sanders, Brian Dawkins, Jonathan Taylor, and A.J. Brown are all your reps. Am I, am I reading that right? One, two, three, four. F- oh, no. Brian Dawkins is a authentic. I'm sorry. But A.J. Brown, Jonathan Taylor, Deion Sanders, and Dick Buckus are all your reps. Everything else are going to be authentics, including the Ray Lewis, which is a two-tone authentic helmet. There's a couple of videos I'll, I'll show you guys here in a minute what these helmets look like. Here's that Patrick Mahomes. They got that Chiefs. Feathers in the front of the helmet, and then a flash in the back. Miles Garrett. We don't really get Miles Garrett here in the uh, break room, but there he is on the new salute to serve. I'm sorry, last year's new salute to service. I said new again. It's okay. You guys know what I'm talking what, about. I guess what, Robbie? We do have a break now. We do. The college single fills out. Hey, we got a college single coming up. I'm going for those chrome lids. So let me go and finish this up. We got that Rob Krokowski on the speed flex. That looks like chrome, but pretty gnarly. Again, I'll show you guys the video once we come up after the college. And then Dak Prescott, J.J. Watt, and that Kurt Warner Hydro Speed Flex out there, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get this. We'll come back to this top to bottom rundown. And let's get this college. Man, this thing is all blacked out. Yeah, no worries. Just Here we go. Yeah, just perfect. 
Seth Morgan, Larry Jensen, and Michael McNara. You guys are in this college single box break number one. You guys know what to do. Wait for that special message. And then go ahead and drop me a box number four. College. Number four. College break number one. There you guys go. Seth Morgan, Larry Jensen, and Michael McNara. If you're out there, 21 people are watching, drop me a box number. That way we can get this party started on this Sunday night. Let's go! Steven, how you doing? I don't know if I asked you before the beginning of the I'm show. I'm doing good, Robbie. Doing good? It's good my, to see you. It's the first time. Oh, oh no, not the first time. We've probably worked. I've helped train you. We've, yeah, we've worked together many times. First time in a long time, though. Yes, it has. So we're hoping... Uh, give you guys, I know it's, you know, we just kicked off 20 minutes ago, so we'll give you guys a couple more seconds to drop a box number again. Seth Morgan, Larry Jensen, and Michael McNara, if you're out there, go ahead and drop me a box number for this college break number one. That way we can get this thing started. And who knows? Three away on that vault double now. There we go. Three away on the vault double. I just showed you guys what that new vault looks like. Some amazing, beautiful lids out there. And uh, we have definitely paired it with the old. So, again, we're going to get hopefully get rid of this old vault. And once we do, that's done. I mean, the old vault be... still has some great hits, though. Like Lawrence Taylor, yes. Chris Olave, Frank Targets, and there, Dickerson. So, you're not missing with that either. No. But we know you guys like your headline. So, let's, let's get after it. Yep. Yes, uh, seven boxes left from the old with four headliners, three hidden gems. Would love to see what those three hidden gems are going to be. So it looks like no one's going to be in here. Once you see the wheel come up, folks, all numbers are going to be invalid. So this is the vault. No, this is college. College, college is yeah. 1 through 35. Right there. All right, folks, here we go. All numbers are invalid. Let's see what number we're going to get for college. Is box 17 available? Let's take a look. In the college. Say, does it say on the ticker? I'm going to take a look though too. Yep. It says it's red. Yep, I got yep. it right here. 17 is right. So we got 15 through 16 now. And 18. No, 19. All right. 17. Right, so that ticker is now up to date. All right, box 17, courtesy of the wheel. So if you have any problems, you go ahead and bring it up to the wheel, and I'm sure they'll love to reimburse you for your losings if you ever can get a hold of them. Yeah, hey, they're a tough company, I've heard. Oh, they are. So let me go ahead and copy your names. We'll throw you guys in that randomizer again. Eight crazy times coming up here. Here's that list. We got Seth Morgan, Larry Jensen, and Michael McNara. Good luck, gentlemen, on your divisions. Here we go. There's three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final time. We got Michael McNara at the top, also on the bottom. And then we got Larry Jensen and Seth Morgan in the middle of all this. So here we go, folks. College break number one. Big 10 is going to Michael McNara. Larry Jensen's got the Big 12. ACC is going to Seth Morgan. And then Michael McNara, you've got the Pac-12, the SEC, and everything else. All right. Let's see what we got here in this first box. Let's see. All right. Well, if you played with us, you kind of have an idea of by the bag, but uh, okay. This guy is from your Cincinnati oh. Bearcats. 
Mr. Jerome Ford. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so Cincinnati that? was uh, at the time in the Conference USA, but they now uh, went to the Big 12, I, I believe. I believe they are in the Big 12. I'm going to confirm that for you. Give me one moment. Cincinnati Bearcats program represents the University of Cincinnati College Football. They compete in the NCAA Division I football subdivision as a member of the Big 12. Big 12. So they are Big 12. So again, yeah, we always go by current conferences. Yes, sir. Again, they started in the Conference USA. They got really good in Conference USA that they've uh, accepted the invitation to go to the Big 12, and that's where they're at. So Larry Jensen, congratulations, sir, on the Jerome Ford Cincinnati Bearcats. It is a rep. So congratulations, sir. That is a beautiful lid. It right is. There. And Jerome Ford, you know, really made a nice name for himself last year and get, getting the spot start after Nick Chubb's knee. That was a ugly, ugly injury. Oh, horrible. But Jerome Ford really stepped up nicely in his role and really helped them get to the playoffs too. And Joe Flacco turning back time. Oh yeah, definitely. Which I'm really shocked that they did not re-sign him to be the backup. Instead, they went with, uh, I forgot who they went with. Not Hunt. It wasn't Cream Hunt, right? No, no, no. I'm saying the, the, the quarterback. Oh, the quarterback. The quarterback to back up uh, Sean Watson. Mm. Joe Flacco is a Colt now, I believe. I, that's where I think he went. Yep. And then I want to say Ty, 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 Ty Taylor went to Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, I think he went to Cleveland to back up with him. I could be wrong. Says he says he's on the Jets. Jets. Let's see who Cleveland signed. Oh. All right, folks. Well. Larry Jensen, if Tyler you're out Huntley. there. Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley. The guy, the backup for uh, the Ravens. Yes. Larry right. Jensen, if you're out there, sir, you are the winner in that first college break number one, taking home Mr. Jerome Ford on the Cincinnati Bearcats rep helmet. So congratulate Larry Jensen in the, that community chat room, everybody. What's going on, everybody? 27 people. I know we're starting to get up there on viewership, so I just want to let you guys know. What, welcome to Sunday night's edition of Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. I'm your host tonight, Robbie Headliner Lopez, filling in. And I've got Stephen Ryan for your Sunday producer. What's going on? Let us know in the chat how everybody's doing uh, on this beautiful Sunday. Storms went away. Now the, yeah, kinda, you know, feels a little bit bettered. The breeze. The nice breeze, breeze is going away. Yeah. yeah. Getting ready for this eclipse tomorrow. What are you going to do for this eclipse? You're going to watch I it? Had no idea. No. <laughs> I didn't know anything like that was happening. Oh, yeah. It's a big event. It's a big event. It's a big, huge event. Um, trying to convince the girlfriend to go take a little three hour trip down to Indiana to watch it. You work tomorrow. What time is the eclipse at? Like two o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the show. Like I will not be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Well, fair enough. Hopefully that goes well. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If not, we'll be able to see it right here in Illinois. So. Perfect. Just have to go outside and just look up. So how's everybody doing? Brian Wilson, what? What's up, Robbie? That is what's up, my guy. That's Brian Wilson. Great guy in the Facebook world out there. What's going on, Brian? How's uh, your Sunday night going? But we're two spots away on the vault double. Two spots. Hey, who wants to close out that vault? Brian Wilson, I know you want to close out that vault. We've just dropped a new series in the vault with some amazing helmets out there. Like the Rob Gronkowski uh, Chrome, I believe it's a Chrome Speed Flex. And we also have a Patrick Mahomes Speed Authentic and a Kurt Warner Hydro Speed Flex out there. He's saying, good man, and you, hey, I'm doing great. Nothing like being here on a Sunday night here in the break room, breaking boxes, breaking uh, sports memorabilia for you folks. So 
It's all up to what you guys want to do. Again, we paired that new Vault Series for you folks, thinking that maybe it'll draw some interest. And uh, we're just waiting for you guys to get to the break page and get into that. Again, two spots to go in that new double box. And then uh, what other stuff? The diamonds, the college, that one and four, which is the chase wheel spin for today. So, again, the show is now up to you folks and what you guys want to do next. Uh, since we are now officially done with that college break, we'll go back to our uh, top to bottom rundown. Again, here is that new vault, ladies and gentlemen, that we were just talking about. So the Barry Sanders camo, the Dick Buckus on the Bears alter alternate, uh, Deion Sanders flash, and A.J. Brown, the new salute to service, and that Jonathan Taylor. Don't know if this is a slate helmet, but uh, those like four it. are going to be your reps. It looks like it does. Um, but that is a pretty cool, out. pretty cool helmet. Uh, as for your authentics, Brian Dawkins on the old school uh, salute to service last year's uh, salute to service, and then we have Miles Garrett on the old school uh, salute to service. Patrick Mahomes, check out this with the Chiefs feathers in the front and then the flash in the back. This thing is gnarly. It has a gold uh, visor in the front. Then the Ray Lewis. This thing is also a two-tone ripped. Uh, here is Rob Gronkowski, Dak Prescott, J.J. Watt, and there's the Kurt Warner Hydro. Here are those videos. So this is the video of the Gronkowski. Check this thing out. Is this not a beautiful lid? I know who wants to add this to their PC. This thing is blue visor, blue face mask, red. I mean, how sick is that? GSA, there's the GSA cert card right there. Absolutely beautiful. Here's that Kurt Warner. This thing is absolutely beautiful itself. The Hydro with that nice blue on the top. All the stickers and 3D bumpers on the back. I mean, blue face mask. It's actually got the uh, Hydro on the bottom and then the blue on top. There's a little Hydro there on that's just below the Speed Flex portion. But that thing is... I like that one. I might like the look of that more than the Chrome, honestly. That's really clean. With that yellow ink, too. Mm -hmm. With the American Underdog. Yes. Yes. The Speed Flex provides that nice little spot for the autograph. It's, mm -hmm. it's really cool. Yeah, I, that's what I love about those Speed Flex. Because you're right. That little spot right there is like perfect for uh, centering your autograph on. Mm -hmm. We also have a video of, not that one. Here's the Patrick Mahomes with that Chiefs feathers in the front. And then the flash in the back with the gold visor, the 3D bumpers. Um, that thing is sweet. This thing is beautiful. Absolutely. One of a kind, I believe. I have never seen this type of lid in the break Me neither. Room. Me neither. This is a one of a kind helmet. And then here's that Ray Lewis, which is ripped. Two-toned. It's got the gold and black. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at Ray Lewis's large signature. I mean, absolutely beautiful. That sick chrome visor, the 3D bumpers. I mean, wow. Absolutely beautiful. That is what's in that new diamonds. Did I miss the $27 box yet? Eric Doan wants to Eric, know. you did not. We are still three spots away. Three spots to go? Uh, you'll go over those headliners in a moment, but I will say this, you know, if you are new and you're hanging out there with us, I know we've pitched a lot of series and those might not be your price points, but as Eric said, it's 27 bucks. That's the cheapest point we had, we offer for a single box break. Uh, if you want to do a price per box cheaper, you can do our mini helmets. Um, yeah. that's, that's to 24 50 a box, but that's two boxes coming out. So one payment could. You could win double. So. so what Eric is talking about is these jerseys here. It's called Powder Blue. Uh, we are officially down to 16 boxes. If they'll let me show it up. There you there go. go. So these are the jerseys. And Bob Greasy's out there still on the Miami Dolphins. We got Jordan Addison on the Vikings. Warren Sapp 
on that creamsicle Buccaneers jersey. And who's that? Dan Fouts. Dan, Dan Fouts. Uh, he's actually going to be the last one uh, because, again, powder blue. Uh, Errol Campbell was pulled in the 3 o'clock show. Uh, David Montgomery and uh, Tony, uh, Tony Gates. But, hey, you never know what comes out in the head and gems. Could be more baby blue coming out. Don't know until we open those. Again, four headliners left in the jerseys. That means we're going to have 12 hidden gems coming out in those jerseys. Again, $27 is not a bad price for one of these custom jerseys. Four to go on this single diamonds for $90. The price, again, we are looking for Reggie Wayne. Uh, Mr. Devontae Adams, Aaron Donald on the Speed Flex. And we are looking for those and Jamar Chase. Those four headliners, not to mention the three secondary headliners like Kenneth Walker III, Mr. Will Anderson, Defensive Player of the Year last year, and Jim Kelly. Those are what is left in the Diamonds. Seven to go in these minis at $49 the price. It is a double box break, so you'll get two chances at winning some awesome minis like the John Elway new salute to serve. I can't believe this thing is still out there. I right. Like, wow. Uh, what else is uh, still out there? Joe Green out there on that Pittsburgh Steelers with the Hall of Fame inscription. Wow. Will Anderson again, ladies and gentlemen. Why not get a chance to take home... Will Anderson, Mini, Lunar, and then go out in the Diamonds and see about getting Mr. Will Anderson in the secondary. Who right. knows? He could be a he could be a Lunar, authentic in the Diamonds, and what a good way to pair a Lunar with a Lunar. That's true. And then we've got Randall Cunningham on the Vikings. So those are your five headliners still left in the Minis. Fourteen boxes left. That means we are looking for uh, 11 hidden gems. 11, 11 hidden, gems. hidden gems. Wow. Not bad. Can't wait to see what those hidden gems are going to be. So that is going to be the complete rundown of our top to bottom in the break room, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we are oh so close to some of these breaks being closed out. Two to go in that new and old vault. Three to go in that one and four series. Three to go in the double box diamonds. And then we are five to go. As a matter of fact, since we are that close, I will do something even one up. I'm going to drop these links in there for you. The first one is going to be that double box diamonds. Amanda Henry saying, cool. What's going on, Amanda? How are you doing today? And here is the link for that one and four Double box. That is three to go in that one. And we are two to go in this double box vault. I'll throw that link in there. All you guys got to do is just click on those links. It'll take you directly to our Facebook, to our live break page, where all you have to do from there is just go ahead and purchase your spots. And then we are three to go in these jerseys. I'll drop that link in there. So four breaks that are also close to being filled. Let's get to that break page, ladies and gentlemen, and attack it. I imagine those are going to get done here. Oh, yeah. they're Any gonna be, moment. Oh, yeah. So what started out as a 120 game for the Chicago Cubs and the Dodgers, it's 637. They're still in the uh, top of the ninth, ninth <laughs> with a almost a, like two-hour rain delay. Right. Well, it was coming down out there. Oh, yeah. What else is going out in the sports world today? South Carolina completed their yeah. undefeated season. Congratulations to uh, South the Carolina. The Lady Gamecocks. They were unstoppable. 87 to 75. Wow. That just shows you that they're a dominant team. And hey, now UConn has a chance to uh, be national champ, uh, back to back national championships. Or is it going to be Purdue? Right. Uh, that's going on tomorrow night. Yeah. A 
I'll be here with Common. Yeah. I can't imagine that battle of the big man. And then, speaking of that, that does mean we will have a decided winner from our March Madness pool. Oh, that's right. Let me look here. So, I do got to send Brett Middleton a gift card for 150 bucks. But we have Chelsea Schwartz, who has Purdue, versus Pete Jenkinson, who has UConn. Hey, PD, I know you're out there, Pete Jenkinson. You're going up against uh, Chelsea Schwartz. Chelsea Schwartz for that uh, championship uh, gift card. It was 750 right? Yeah. 750 to the winner. Four, was it 400 to the, or 250 to the second place, right? It's 150 to your final four. So if you got eliminated in the final four, okay, um, you got 150 bucks. Uh, second place is gonna get 400, and then okay. the first gets 750. Yep. And Brett Middleton had two semifinalists, so he got get out of here two gift cards. Yeah, <laughs> worth 150 bucks a piece. So that's 300 dollars right there. Right, and I just wow. sent that out to you there, Brett. Best of luck, Chelsea versus Pete. Yeah. Unbelievable. Brett Middleton, way to go, bud. Right. He got people to the dance. Getting into, what was that? That was, uh, we did that all in the college breaks, right? Yeah, Get, we, did getting, that uh, we had that March Madness. The series. March Madness, that's right. And, uh, wow. We had that series, it was crazy. Yeah, people were just getting left and right. They want to get their little, their little, their little brackets. All right, folks, 23 people, what's going on? How's everybody doing on this great Sunday night here in the break room? Again, we are also oh close. Two spots to go in that next, or actually the new Vault Series, where it's the old and the new. Two to go. Still sitting three to go in that one and four. Three to go in the double box Diamonds. Five to go in that uh, double box College. Four to go, uh, two to go now in those jerseys, two to go in the jerseys. We're right on the doorstep of getting some momentum. We are. We're just, we need somebody to just give us that little nudge, and then it just gets people to just follow their lead. Like, okay, yep. I see this guy got two spots. It took us down to maybe two or one spot. Let me go close it out, and then it just starts a snowball effect. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. So who's going to be that? I mean, again, it's who's 41. Cold? Yes. It's Sunday. I'm not sure where the weather is, like, for everyone else. Here it's a little bit colder. But I know and next it's raining again. I know next, <laughs> I know next week it's going to be really, really warm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm not sure if everyone's just getting ready for their week. But, yeah, it's, again, it's... this is a chance to come snack some sweet memorabilia for literally the fraction of a cost. And we have, what, like you said, four breaks that are on the precipice? Four breaks. So just really on the in cusp. Time, in time, they will come to, They will come out for sure. They're on the cusp. Yeah, that's, that's what, nice weather's supposed to come in starting tomorrow. It's supposed to be, like, in the upper 60s. Wow. And then 70s on certain days. I mean, it's starting to heat up. And it's going to definitely start heating up here in the break room. That I can't sense. wait. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They just gotta see it. Like, I think they, and sometimes these series take a second to, you know, for people, they gotta see a box go down. Yep. Now, sometimes you're too late for what you want because all the box numbers are available. But even in that old vault, there's still a four in seven chance at a listed or photoed headliner. Oh, yeah. And then you have all the headliners available in that new vault plus five brand new vault keys with up to $300 in gift cards waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Yep. Four bolt keys. Five. 300. Oh, five, five, I'm sorry. Five, five bolt keys. Mm -hmm. We got a $300, $200, two $100, and then a $50 one. I mean, I know if I was playing, I'd be playing that vault again, doubling up on an old and a possible new win, and then trying to get a vault key. Right. You get, who knows, the $200 that means you just played pretty much for free, and then we're giving you a little bit more extra cash to get back into the break room. And who knows? Let's get back into the vault with that uh, $200 win. Uh, Alex Dreyer saying, hey, Cubs win. Cubs well, let's win. see. It looked good. 
Oh, wow, that's a kid that they just brought up. Nice. Nice. This Cubs team is going to be fun to watch, especially with all these young people that are coming up yeah. that are really on the doorstep of MLB ready. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of lot of Cubs uh, minors out there that are really They're ready, to go. ready to go. Oh, yeah. I mean, PCA, uh, Owens Cassidy. Um, Matt Shaw. Um, who was the other one? Matt uh, Shaw's going to be ready soon, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, Matt Shaw's going to be ready. Yeah. And uh, the, the other guy that they sent down, he was supposed to, he, oh, he started. Alcantara? In, Alcantara, there you go. Yep. Or Canario. Is it Canario? Canario, Canario. that's Canario. the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, Canario's the one I'm thinking of. But Contra, too, is uh, supposedly almost ready. He's a little bit further away, but yeah, I mean, it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. It is, definitely. Without a doubt. All right, let's do another quick refresh, see how we, how close we are. Uh, I thought, well, we're still two away. It looks like now we are two away in that vault single box. So, oh, I'm sorry, the vault double box. Two to go now in that double box vault. I think we were always at two. Got a couple people that copied in the show, like Adam Hoffman. He got a spot in that. Our man John Ryan got a spot in that. There you go. They saw, like, oh, there's new names out there. So they hopped in. And again, if you're not wanting to risk that much, which I totally understand, we do have the jerseys, 27 bucks a spot. That is two mm-hmm. away as well. Jerseys are probably going to be the first one to come up. That's what I would say. Look at that. Oh, I was going to say, we're up to 32 people. So what's going on, everybody? 32 people. How is everybody doing on this fabulous Sunday night here in the break room? I'm sure it's a beautiful Sunday night wherever you guys are at. Let us know in the chat where you're chiming in from. We'd like to know where you guys are watching us. Maybe you guys are at home or some people are on the road. Who's watching WrestleMania? Who's watching, yeah, who's watching Sunday, WrestleMania? Sunday Night Baseball? A lot of different Sunday options. Night baseball this week, this tonight. Who has League Pass on? I don't know. Unfortunately, we don't have any, you know, NFL. Yeah, I got no NFL. Gonna have any we do got football. spring football. UFL. Some pretty good games. I was I watched uh, a couple of them uh, over the weekend on Saturday. It was from uh, the, the Birmingham. Okay. Oh, that was a good. That kicker, man, kicked a 62-yarder. Wow. This dude's got a leg on him. Wow. That's a bomb. Placini got a three-inning save. Wow. wow. Nice. Well, I'll take that. I know Craig Council was looking forward to a more bullpen day. Yeah, that, now that they could just send like down Kaka. Who? I, I, don't, I don't know how to say his last name. The guy that blew it yesterday. Oh, Quas? Quas. I call him Kaka. Oh, yeah, he's not, I'm not a big fan of him, but I don't like his sidearm. I, I just hey, I mean, <sighs> it got him to where he needed to be. Yes, that's all I'll say. Yes, it got him to the majors. <laughs> it did. Throw a sidearm if that's what you got to do. <laughs> Save your career, probably is <laughs> probably what he's. <laughs> that's it. So we are so close coming up here in the break room, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two away in that jersey. Two to go in the double box vault from the one from the old, one from the new. And then we are three away in that one and four double box mixer. Three to go in the double box diamonds. And then five to go in the double box college. So the break page is really down to a couple breaks being filled up. Who are going to be my closers? Who wants to close up these breaks so that way you guys get... You know, we could shut up and open up some boxes and see the wow factor that comes out of these boxes. Because I can't wait. Especially in the vault. I'm hoping that uh, we get to see a Lawrence Taylor and maybe a Jonathan Taylor. Right. Wow. Well, we're going to make a couple get, reps. We're going to get a chance to see it right now. No way. Yep. Well, thank Fair you guys point. for closing up that vault double box coming up. Again, if you guys are in there... Wait for my message, then go ahead and drop me a Just box remember, number from one, the old yeah. and one from the new. You'll see those numbers on your uh, screen right now. I'm going to get the next one out. Four volts. Double box break. Number one. All right. 
There you guys go. So, so one, box. we need one old number and one new number. What are the old so numbers? So we got there, Michael Robbie? Neiman. The old numbers are going to be boxes 1, 19, 22, 26, 29, 31, 35. Okay. And then from the new, it's 1 through 30. Right, very easy. Very simple. So again, Michael Neiman, Seth Egg, and Chris Kohler. Christopher Taylor, Adam Hoffman, John Ryan, Michael Neiman, and Jeremy Leon. In this new Volt double box break number one from the old and the new, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to go ahead and drop me a box. Uh, two numbers. So one from the old, one from the new. They should be scrolling through your screen here momentarily. Uh, looks like Jeremy saying... 22 from both. 22 from both. Hey, right, that's guys. easy for us. That's easy for us. We'll take those off the ticker. So thank you, Jeremy, for those wonderful numbers. One to 21. And 23 through 30. 12 to 2. That's from that one. All right. That is now updated. From and we are going to go copy this name, list of names, put you guys in the randomizer, and here we go. Here's that list of names. We got Michael Neiman, Seth Egg, Chris Kohler, Christopher Taylor, Adam Hoffman, John Ryan, Michael Neiman, and Jeremy Leone, who called those box numbers, both 22 coming from the old and the new. Eight times on that randomizer. Good luck, everybody. Away we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here comes that eighth and final dice roll. Looks got we got Chris Kohler at the top. Michael Neiman at the bottom. Everybody else is in between. We'll drop you guys in. Turn the randomizer off. And here you go, everybody. In the bolt. Old and new double box. Break number one. Chris Kohler takes the NFC North. John Ryan takes the NFC South. Jeremy Leone has the NFC East, where he has a chance to get Mr. Lawrence Taylor. Oh. Uh, who else? We got NFC West going to Adam Hoffman. AFC North is Seth Egg. AFC South is Christopher Taylor, and there's Michael Neiman taking the AFC East and that AFC West. So let's get the party started. While we're doing this, hopefully we can get someone to go ahead and now fill that jersey with only two spots to go in that. And who knows? After that, maybe we'll get people to get into that uh, Diamonds, I think, which yeah. was close. Diamonds are close. Yeah. Four on each, I believe. Actually, All right, so 22. Three on the double. This one is the first that's one. The new, is, that's the old one. This is the old one? Yeah. Okay, so this one is from the old series. All right, there we go. Let's see what we got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a headliner coming out in this box from the old. And believe it or not, I did call it Mr. Lawrence Taylor Ooh. on the rep. Yep, Lawrence Taylor. Look at that. Look at the box calling mojo on Jeremy. Jeremy Leon. You called the box magic right there. Box caller magic right there. Congratulations, Jeremy. Nice. Taking home Lawrence Taylor. Wow. Nice. On the rep. Right. Lawrence Taylor. Oh, right. Way to go. Let's go ahead and write up Jeremy, and then we'll go on to box number two. Let's see, one, seven, nine. 
talk about this guy. This guy, I guess, you know, has a lot of uh, coaches' uh, respect, especially one coach, Mr. Bill Belichick, has really good high regards for this right. guy. Yeah. <laughs> he has the respect dude, monster, for right? this guy. And why not? This guy would, I mean, a lot of people say he's a teddy bear, but just by looking at him, you he would scare the crap out of him. Yeah, that's probably fair. He's a bitch. He's a mean man. <laughs> yeah. You'll become a three-time deep boy. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know. I mean, even in the commercials him. that he was in, he just looked like he was mean. He was mean mugging people. <laughs> I'd buy it. I buy it from the man. Trying to think. Oh, he was in the uh, uh, movie um, Waterboy. 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 <laughs> and that's why, kids, we don't do drugs. <laughs> right? That is exactly <laughs> Even in that movie, he looked very mean. Right? <laughs> All right, 22 from the new now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we've got. We got a headliner in the old. Do we have a headliner in the new? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a headliner coming out in the new vault. Who is it? Oh, Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. Let me get a roar. I got Mr. Barry Sanders on the Lion King Detroit Lions camo lid. Oh. Authentic. Let me hear you roar. That thing is Chris nice. Kohler, congratulations on Barry Sanders camo with the Lion King inscription. Uh, what is that? It's Becky. a, uh, Schwartz. 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 Sir. Authentic inside. Chris Kohler, congratulations in that AFC North. Let's give him a big hand, everybody. Call him fire. Wow. wow. Double headliners. You think Robbie's getting about the name? Woohoo! That's two headliners. That is two headliners. Keep it going. Unbelievable. Definitely going to keep him out there, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Kohler. Well, gentlemen, let us know if you're in the chat room and what you guys think of your winnings. Jeremy Loyon calls out box 22 and takes one of them, but then he helped out Chris Kohler with uh, Barry Sanders. Yeah. Way to go, gentlemen. Let's give him a big round of applause, everybody in the chat room. Well done. Box Dollar Mojo. Chris Kohler, he got rolled over, I believe, from the original Vault Double. At first, he wasn't going to be able to get this lid. Now he did. So it was. Yeah. yeah. Worked out right. nicely. So, again, now that you guys got a little taste of what the vault and a little taste of what this headliner is, I say let's do it again. I say let's do this again. It was fun. I feel like we could probably do another headliner for headliner. Yeah, that seems I think so. That seems really doable. So now we are officially done with that vault, and uh, where are we at? Two minutes to seven. Two minutes to seven. Should we do another top to bottom? I'll wait for a couple minutes, and then at the top of the hour we'll do a top to bottom. Figure. Right, sounds good. Might as well keep it, you know. Jeremy, yeah, yeah, I agree, Jeremy. Let's run it back. Absolutely. Let's run this back. I mean, who knows? If we get it filled, you call out a couple new boxes again, hey, we already know we're down to six boxes now in that old vault with three headliners. It's still a 50-50 that one of these boxes are going to come out a headliner. 
like Lawrence Taylor just did. And uh, 29, I'm sorry, 13 chances. I'm sorry, 12 chances. We just hit on to Barry Sanders. Thir- uh, 12 chances at a headliner in the new vault. Yeah. So... I like I like my odds in the vault. And so we got the six old boxes, and those got three listed names like Olave, Tarkenton, and Dickerson. Yeah, and they're all full size. So I, I would absolutely say one hundred percent run it back. It's just like a diamond box break. It's a little bit cheaper, even. Yep. Really nice to the price point. I agree. All right, folks. So let's go back to the randomizer. Let's do a quick refresh of the break page. All right, so, again, if you're new and you're watching and you're like, what's going on? What is this all about? This is the UA break room. Everything that I'm about to scroll off, make sure you read. This is very important to us and very important for you folks. It explains everything, how we go live every single day from 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, how you can watch us on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, all at Ultimate Autographs. And our rules and guidelines explains everything that happens here in the break room. Everything from a human to a computer error to a tiebreaker. Everything is explained in that rules and guidelines section. There's a short video for you folks to watch. And it goes more into details of our break room. And as you scroll down, these are the breaks that we have to offer for tonight and every single day. So starting off with that double box college, folks. Five spots to go. At 142, the price. These are the headliners we are looking for: the Tim Brown Authentic, Mr. Champ Bailey on the Georgia Bulldogs on a rep, Reggie Wayne on the Flat Black Hurricanes from Miami on the rep. We also have Jerome Bennis in the Notre Dame, so a couple of opportunities to take home two Notre Dame legends and Tim Brown and Jerome Bennis. We also have this sick Eric Dickerson Chrome Authentic. He's... Oh, well, yeah, that's right. There he is right there. Who hey. am I like? Yeah, Authentic. Dick Buckus is a rep, the Illinois Flat White. And then we got Warren Sapp on the Midnight Black. Uh, University of Miami Hurricane. So a couple opportunities to double up in that ACC and everything else for the Notre Dame and your Miami Hurricanes. We also have Deion Sanders on the FSU Authentic out there, ladies and gentlemen. OJ Simpson, Chrome. It's a rep, but it's a beautiful rep for it to be a Chrome with that sick yellow ink inscription of OJ Simpson on it. This thing is absolutely blue. Even the face mask is Chrome. Then we also have Mr. Adrian Peterson on the Oklahoma Sooners. And he is also authentic. So those are your photo headliners in the college, not to mention the three secondary headliners in Jim Kelly. There's a chance to triple up there, ladies and gentlemen, because Jim Kelly went to the University of Miami Hurricanes. We got James Cook, who went to... um, you said he went to Georgia. Georgia. Georgia yes, so sir. there's a chance to double up in that. Georgia with uh, James Cook and Champ Bailey. And then Sam Bradford, uh, Sam Bradford and Adrian Peterson on the Oklahoma Sooners. So great opportunity to double up on some of these teams here in the college. Not to mention the end more. I like to call this the hidden gem section because we have no idea what's coming out in this and more. So I like to call it the hidden gems because there is a lot of hidden hidden gems. Everyone from Hall of Famers to uh, guys that are had a fantastic college career. Specifically in the college, it's a fantastic section for those hidden gems. You're yeah. absolutely correct on that, Robbie. Yeah, like Johnny Manziel, Vince Young. Those are just some of the names that could be lurking in that series. Yes. Fred Belenikoff. I mean, oh, yeah. great names. I was going to say Vince Carter, uh, Vince Carter, uh, Vince Young was uh, a hidden gem on that Texas lid. Woo-hoo. I couldn't believe that. I was like, wow. Right. In the hidden, not even a not even a secondary headline or a, a photo headline. It was nope. in the hidden gems. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Crazy. Three to go. Actually, we'll go take a break because I just saw that uh, jerseys just sold out. Yes, so the jerseys just sold let's out. Let's go yes, ahead sir. and do the jerseys. 
We'll always come back to that top to bottom rundown, folks. So here is that powder blue jersey break number one. We've got Tyler King, and there's Eric Doan, our first timer here. So, Eric, if you're still out there watching, let us know where you're from, uh, who is your favorite team, and what player you are chasing in the jerseys or players, or who is your favorite teams and players. Uh, Jeremy Lewis, and then there is Tyler King. I mean, Tyler King must be chasing something. So, Tyler King, if you're out there watching, let us know who you're chasing, uh, buying into all these uh, spots here in the jerseys. Wait for that message, gentlemen, and then we'll go ahead and drop me a box number. But wait for the message to be dropped first. Lafayette, Indiana. All right. Nice. Get ready for the eclipse down there, aren't you? Drop me a box number four, jersey break number one all right there you go folks if you're in the break go ahead and drop me a box number tyler king eric doan jeremy lewis three people in here nobody in particular says tyler scott he's just in it for some jerseys nice uh he says yes sir crazy here with people coming in wow people are already coming in over already Unbelievable. I thought about leaving here early in the morning, but I guess not. I might just stick around here and just watch it here. All right. Tyler Scott says box 10. Box 10 it box is. Box 10 in the jerseys. All right. So the ticker is now up to date for you folks. And as Steven gets that box number, we'll take the list of names over to the randomizer and get ready to shake and bake. Eight times, folks. And those diamonds are each three away now. Ooh, we're getting really close on the back door of that diamond series, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, so there's two. Actually, one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final dice row. We got Tyler King at the top and Tyler King at the bottom. Ah. There we go. Everybody else is in between. Let's go ahead and turn the randomizer off in that power blue. Powder blue. Jersey break number one. NFC North, Tyler King. Jeremy Lewis has the NFC South and Tyler King has the NFC East and the NFC West. Eric Doan, our first timer, taking the AFC North. And then Tyler King has everything else down from the AFC South down to the AFC West. Here we go. Box 10, courtesy of Mr. Tyler. We are looking for John, uh, Bob Greasy, Jordan Anderson, Warren Sapp, and Dan Fouts with some possible hidden gems. And ladies and gentlemen... We're going to have our first headliner hit in the jerseys. And this is your running back from your Minnesota Vikings, Mr. Jordan Addison on the custom Minnesota Vikings. Beckett cert right there. Oh, that is cool. It is an NFC North hit. Tyler King, congratulations, sir, on Jordan Addison. Way to go. Wesley Maynard saying hi. What's going on there, Wesley? How you doing today, sir? Look at that. What a great hit. I love these purple jerseys, man. Right, those are so clean. I mean, with things changing there in Minnesota, you know, they might have to trade Jefferson. I know they don't want to, but if they're going to have to replace him, this is a good guy to do it with. Yep. But whoever steps in a quarterback for them, they got two nice weapons. Oh, they got some. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like they're going to a team where they don't have anything. Yeah. Like Carolina. Yeah, they need some help there for roster-wise. Yes. All right. So, again, like Steven just said, three to go in that diamonds, in both the diamonds. Just uh, Wesley saying my favorite team, the Eagles. All right, yeah. Eagles.
those are a good choice. I know last year would didn't seem like the best ending, but no, <laughs> you bounce back. Not much I'll say is you bounce, you, you find a way to bounce back. Oh, you definitely do. You definitely do. So that is it for that powder blue jersey break number one. Our big winner in the NFC North, Tyler King, taking home a Jordan Addison headliner hit. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody, in the chat room. Again, this is a perfect opportunity for you folks to get into the break room, to get in those diamonds with three spots to go. And uh, at 7.09, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of shake this up a little bit. See maybe if this kind of brings a little bit of momentum into the break room. I'm going to say from now till 8 o'clock, if you guys can give me, uh, if you guys can fill five breaks in the next hour, I'll give you guys, I'll put you guys into your own personal uh, chase wheel spin outside of the one and four. Okay. So five breaks, you get into five breaks, close out five breaks from now till eight o'clock, you guys get your own chase wheel spin. Okay. You heard the man. Let's get it. Let's see what that will do. Maybe hopefully you'll give him uh, some uh, momentum into getting into the, the vaults, maybe into the diamonds. Uh, I know how this can be done because, like you said, five boxes is all we need, right? So that's two doubles and a single. Yep. We have three away on the diamond single, three away on the diamond double. Those can be done, and we're five away on that college double. There you and go. That would be that would be it right there. That would be your five. And the wheel spin. And I know we could definitely get that done in twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. You guys don't even need the full hour because I know you guys are so hungry. For the break room, you guys can get this done in 20 minutes. I'm, I, I'm still giving you an hour, but I know with everything that's out there right now, there should be no problem of doing five boxes in under an hour. No, there shouldn't be. I've seen them do it in way less time than that. 50 minutes? They got, that's, oh, yeah. They can, they can pull that off. We got 24 people watching. Iron Man saying, go Cubs, go. That's right. Cubs take the series against those Dodgers. Uh, hey, as much as uh, they lost yesterday, I don't mind. As long as we take the series. That's what matters the most is taking the series. So uh, we won't be seeing the Dodgers until I believe late August or late uh, uh, I think they're like late August. Yeah, we'll see they're going to be a much different team then. They're going to be a way different team than we saw this weekend. <laughs> It will be. It'll be interesting what we're looking like, too. Yeah. Craig Kershaw saying, what's left in the diamonds then? Well, Doug. Hey, Craig, I'll, uh, instead of telling you, I'll show you what's out there in those diamonds. Because we are down to seven headliners in those diamonds. And we've got Jamar Chase on the camo bangles. we got Reggie Wayne. And we've got Devontae Adams. And... We have Mr. Retired Defensive. Uh, this guy's going to have, uh, he's going to be a, a first ballot Hall of Fame. But Mr. Dar uh, Aaron Donald on the speed flex, ladies and gentlemen, out there in the diamond. So four photo headliners in that. And then we are down to three secondary headliners. I keep hitting the wrong one. The three secondary headliners in Kenneth Walker the third. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Will Anderson, and Mr. Jim Kelly is out there. The guy who took to the Bills to the four Super Bowls, but just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah. Just, just couldn't get it over the hump. And those were stacked, stacked teams. And those Buffalo teams were... Well, they were really good. Oh, really? You got... I mean, Jim Kelly, Andre Reid, mm -hmm. um... Who was their running back? Thurman right Thomas. Now? Thurman Thomas. I, I mean, the list goes on and on. And still just could not get over. I mean, yeah, they had to go up against the Cowboys during those times. I and mean, even the Cowboys had a good... They went up against the Cowboys. They, uh, I think they ran to the Redskins one year. And they ran into the Giants. They lost the yeah. whole time. Yeah, I was going to say. Those were... Yeah. Yep. It was a brutal, brutal... <laughs> Stretch for the NS for the from the NFC East. Yep. So that is what is left. Craig Kershaw in the diamonds. Reggie Wayne, Devontae Adams, Aaron Donald on the speed flex. Jamar Chase, 
Kenneth Walker the third, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what's left out there. Again, 17 boxes in those diamonds, seven headliners. That means we're going to have 10 hidden gems. And I have no idea what is left in those hidden gems. The only way I find out, ladies and gentlemen, is by you filling the diamonds and we get to pull it out. And then, hey, I pulled out a Ed Reed Hydro Speed Flex Whoa. in the hidden gems. Apparently from what Brandon told me earlier, him and Dom pulled out a Hydro T. Higgins Speed Flex. Yeah, but they, they, they do. They have been in the series before. The diamonds are just something that I would definitely always be playing in the diamonds. I don't think there would be any point of, I would not play the diamonds. Right. For those, just, and they're all authentic, too. That's Yeah, they're all authentic. So, again, the price for a single box is $90. You hit a helmet for the price of ninety dollars. Your congratulations. You want a fabulous helmet, but then the the value of it. You're getting your money's back plus more with the value of these helmets. So I mean, Aaron Donald right now probably will is under a under a thousand. Could be a thousand, but it, this guy goes to the Hall of Fame. Not only does his value go up, uh, so does the helmet. So, let's get to the diamonds. Wes, uh, Wesley is saying they are so cool. Right, Wesley? I mean, why not get into the diamonds and try to get your hands on that Aaron Donald? Not even Aaron Donald, but Devonta Adams, that Reggie Wayne, the Jamar Chase on the camo. I mean, the sky's the limit for Jamar Chase. This guy's either going to have one hell of a career with the Bengals, and that means once that happens, the price goes up. Uh, same thing with Kenneth Walker. This guy, what he did last year for Seattle, he's going to uh, get better for that team. Will Anderson, just one defensive rookie of the year. This guy's going to now go up in value. We already know what Jim Kelly's worth. I mean, imagine getting Jim Kelly on an authentic Buffalo Bills. That'd be crazy. Wow. Right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I understand I looked up a Walton Payton, Walter Payton jersey with the Hall of Fame 93 sweetness and MVP 1977 scripts on it for 7k yeah, oh wow and what people are I mean that's just you know that's a tough one not many autographs no that, that, that's what I'm saying I'm really shocked for Walt Payton there's not much uh signed memorabilia out there and if you do get your chance uh hands we had him on the photo uh in the one and four uh what last month yeah, we did have on photo. Yeah. Um, we had like two photos of those, and those were, I heard, really, really hard to get. And, I don't doubt that. And they were a chase. Right. Um, I'd kill for a paint model. Uh, I mean, me, myself, too. I mean, I would love to get my hands on his signature or his autograph. I mean... Who else is out there? I mean, Jim Brown, he, he passed away. So even though there's a lot of stuff out there with Jim Brown, but give it a couple of years and his value is going to go up uh, because That's true. he's no longer with us. And that means there's going to be a small inventory of his stuff that slowly kinds of fades away. And then, you know, you're like, man, how do I get my hands on a Jim Brown? Well, you had a chance to get him here in the break room. We've always got Jim Brown in the break room. Always do. I'm sure he'll be back again. But, yeah, it's like you said, the circulation's limited now. Yeah. Yep. It's not as easy as just going to get it. All right, folks. So, 717. Again, five, one spot to go in that double box diamond. One spot to go. Who wants to close it out? And get this party started with five boxes in an hour. Five boxes you guys will put in your own chase wheel spin towards the end of the night for, who knows, a, a chance at a $100 gift card. So it's 180 
you get a hundred dollars back. You basically won the double box break for eighty dollars. Yeah, that's true. That was that's less than what the uh, single box is. Single box is ninety dollars. You get a double box and a hundred dollar gift card. You basically have played the double box break for eighty dollars. Yeah. And a chance at Jamar Chase or Reggie Wayne or Aaron Donald or Devontae Adams. Um, wow. Kenneth Walker, Will Anderson. Uh, so Will Anderson and Reggie Wayne, two NFC South teams right there. Then you've got Devontae Adams all by himself and Aaron Donald all by himself and Jim Kelly all by himself. Actually, I take that back. You'll get Kenneth Walker, and you'll have Aaron Donald, two NFC West. So two NFC West and two uh, AFC South. So great chance to double up in those divisions. Let's see who wants to close that out and have a chance at getting one of those divisions and maybe seeing about maybe doubling up in that double box diamonds. One spot to go. Who's going to close it out? Three spots to go in that double box. One and four, folks. Three to go with some amazing, amazing headliners like the Ozzy Smith backwards flip, the Miguel Cabrera bat, Hakeem Olajuwon, and I believe those are it, the three. Those are the three headliners. Those are the three headliners. And then a bunch of secondary headliners. We got Johnny Bench. We got John Daly, George Kittle. Lance Berkman, Gary Payton, and Steve Yeiserman. All in the secondary headliners for your one and four. And then the and more. 21 boxes, nine headliners left. That means we're going to have so much in those hidden gems section. I can't wait to see what's coming out in that hidden gem section. On top of what's already out there, the Johnny Bench, the John Daly, and the George Kittle. I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of stuff that comes out. Some amazing stuff in the Hidden Gems. Here's that six to go. It is a six-spot break for the college, which we just pulled Mr. Jerome Ford from your Cincinnati Bearcats. That was uh, pulled in that college break. So if you're wondering who got the college break, that was Mr. Larry Jensen uh, taking home Jerome Ford. Ford. Then we are sitting with seven spots. So it looks like we got one person that got into that new live break two bolt, old and new. Let's see if we're about getting seven more people in that next break. So that way we could definitely see about anybody getting a Chris Alave or Frank Tarkenton or Eric Dickerson. Right. And then so here's a great thing about that. Eric Dickerson, we already know he's an L.A. Ram. You get the NFC West, you get Eric Dickerson, and who knows, Kurt Warner, a Hydro Speed Flex right. in that vault. Two chances, I, I mean, that's a great way to double up right there. Eric Dickerson, authentic, and then a Kurt Warner. Now, to be fair, that Dickerson, we're not 100% sure it's a Ram. It could be a Colt. Oh, that's right. He did play for the Colts, so... I would say I would what, guess it's not like eighty percent chance. I, but I, but I'm, I just want to make it abundantly clear. I know. I know. I know. And why don't you be my I've, luck too? I and I go and pull this out, and it's like we've seen a cult before. <laughs> but generally speaking, when we do talk about Eric Dickerson, we all think of him as a Ram. A Ram, absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. So odds are, I would think that might be a Ram. Uh, anybody hit that buckus yet? Nope. Nope. Brand new ball there. series, and it's still there. So the only thing that we did pull was the Barry Sanders camel. That is the only headliner hit that was hit moments ago. We literally just did this vault double box from the old and new. So the old was the Lawrence Taylor, and then the new was the Barry Sanders. But any other helmet that you see is still out there, like the Dick Buckus, the Deion Sanders, the Brian Dawkins, uh, the Jonathan Tate, uh, we believe this thing is a slate. I think we it can't like wait to see yeah. what this comes out. Uh, is that authentic or rep? It's a rep, Iron Man. Uh, oh, for, for, the for the buckets? For the buckets, yeah. For it's the buckets, it's a rep, yeah. Yep. 
So the ref helmets are going to be Dick Buckus, Deion Sanders, A.J. Brown, and Jonathan Taylor. Those four are your refs. Everything else is a authentic. So Brian Dawkins, Ray Lewis, two-tone ripped. The Patrick Mahomes with the chief feathers in the front and the flash in the back. Miles Garrett on the old school or last year's salute to service. And then we got Rob Gronkowski on the speed flex. Dak Prescott, J.J. Watt, and there's the Kurt Warner Hydro. Anybody hits that, I've got a Randy Ross, a uh, Randy Moss, straight cash homie, or an authentic black champ Bailey mm. on the Commanders. I'll swap for it. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody that gets their hands on that Dick Buckus, there's Iron Man. And he would to love go. to trade for you guys. It looks like he's got a lot of good stuff to trade for that Dick Buckus rep. Yeah, he, he knows who he wants. And he's got the materials to go after it. Who is Iron Man? Iron Man, I think his name's Randy. Randy? Uh, he's, he, he was new, I think, roughly this time last year. Okay. Um, I know he's a busy, busy man, so just the beautiful part about the break room. You can come in at any point. You never know what you're gonna find, but I he know, says correct, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, uh, he uh, he big Cub fan, Bear okay. fan, all, all right. that stuff. Hey, he, and he's won them both from the UA break room. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So he won that Randy Moss straight cash homie and the authentic black champ Bailey here in the break room. Wow! You can join, you can join our you can join our stream pretty much any time and see what's new, what you haven't seen before. People that have played with us for a long time. You know, sometimes they take a little hiatus, but they come back, and they're like, oh, my God, where'd you get all this stuff from? So it's just that kind of community. And Randy chops in, chimes in from time to time, especially when the Cubs give us the W. Yeah, so, there we go. There we go, Randy. Randy. Hope all is well. Well, welcome, fellow Cub fan. Uh, I believe this is my first time meeting Randy. So welcome, Randy. I'm Robbie. I've uh, been here for since November uh, with the UA break room, so my first time working a Sunday night, so um, hopefully, uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. Love filling in for people. Um, been on hiatus recently. Decided I only want bear stuff now. Yeah. Well, hey, we got some good. We got some bear stuff. We do have some bear stuff, but also I think he's just paying attention to see who gets it because then he's got things to offer for it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey. Are Ooh, you a University of Illinois fan too, Ooh. Randy? Or are you just Dick Buckus fan? Either way, totally makes sense. Uh, glad you're here and wearing a Cubs shirt. Yeah. Right? yeah. Got to. Got to. Well, here's that chrome. Um, it looks like a chrome logo with maybe a matte finish on the outside. But this thing is an absolutely beautiful Rob Gronkowski with the chrome blue visor. And uh, the face mask, all the 3D clips all on there. This thing is beautiful. The 3D bumpers on the front and back. That is the Rob Gronkowski. Here's the Kurt Warner. Hydro. Blue on the top. There's the Hydro. The face mask is, easy, uh, is Hydro on the bottom and then the blue on top. But that blue visor, this thing is absolutely beautiful. The yellow ink with the American underdog. And then here's all the stickers and the 3D bumpers on the back. This thing is beautiful for it to be a Kurt Warner. I've seen Kurt Warner on many helmets, but not a helmet like this. Right. Yeah, that thing is unbelievable looking. And then here's the Patrick Mahomes. There's Patrick Mahomes on that Chiefs feathers in the front. And the flash in the back, Beckett cert, Patrick Mahomes with the red ink. It's got the gold visor, red face mask. Uh, this thing is probably a one-of-a-kind helmet. I have never seen this in our break room, and I have not seen it across any other break room that I follow. But this thing is absolutely beautiful, lid too. And then we have got the Ray Lewis two-tone ripped I mean, here's another one that's an absolutely beautiful lid with his huge inscription and then the 3D bumpers with the chrome visor in the front. This thing is absolutely another beautiful lid in the vault. Again, 168 for a double box. You get one from the old and one from the new. 
And here are those secondary hits. Jim Kelly, authentic. Eric Dickerson, authentic. And Nico Collins, authentic in that new vault. And here are the old one. Again, we're looking for the Chris Alave rep. Fran Tarkington and Eric Dickerson, authentics. So that is what's in the old and the new for the vault. And we're doing a quick refresh. Still sitting at seven. We're still one away on that diamond devil. One away? One away. Come on, people. Three to go in the diamonds single box. So we're so close in the diamonds. So close. I mean, I can't believe nobody wants to fill that last spot for a chance to get Jamar Chase, Reggie Wayne, Devontae Adams, or a Speed Flex Aaron Donald Lunar Rams lid with the gold visor. How does nobody want that? I know I would. I'm not even a Rams fan. I just love it because it looks cool. Right? Yeah. That's a fact. I don't care about names players or what their stats are i care about what the lid looks like uh let's see this is diamonds so we're looking for kenneth walker the third there's will anderson and jim kelly in those diamonds ladies and gentlemen let's get to the break page and fill that double box diamond here uh randy here's that college lid that dick buckus on the illinois he's a rep but he's still out there in the college Believe it or not, if you're interested in Mr. Dick Buckus, you can pair him up nicely if anybody does win that Bears Dick Buckus. But here you go. Uh, I recently acquired a Caleb Williams USC Mini, so now I'm hoping we draft him. I think we're going to. <laughs> I think it's, a, it's probably a good uh, bet. <laughs> a good bet, yeah, that you've got a good They seem committed to him. USC Mini. I know um, Robbie's not happy about it, but the no, I'm actually, I he's he changed in. my mind once I saw his pro day. Like, ah. like I saw his pro day, and I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. There's I, a I, reason. Now I'm seeing what they're seeing, <laughs> and uh, like, wow, like he's like that, bombs. Yeah. And I'm like, like, yeah, this guy's changed my my <laughs> perspective on him. It's so easy. That's I just didn't like his personality, and then a lot of people agree. Like a lot of people just thought he's just like a snobby like uh like asking so much when but like, he never said those but, words but no yeah and it's like his father his was father all was there's saying this, yeah. demanding all this so that's you know again you do your homework and you know you don't really kind of listen to outside critics you got to do your homework and when man, you and you watch tape and you watch it for your own eyes so you're looking at what you're seeing for yourself and not really having to rely on outside sources. Yeah. And that's what changed my mind. I'm like, oh, okay, now I see what everybody's kind of ramping up about this guy and the, you know, the the, the strength arm that he's got. Yeah, I mean, he could throw the ball. Yeah. I mean, no, wow. I'm just, wow. Not to be cynical the, or anything like this, but Robbie, you've already watched. He's, he's already the best quarterback the Bears have ever had. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. <laughs> already. Yeah, he, hands down. If this doesn't change the franchise in the direction that we think it can, then something is horribly wrong with our team. And I don't, I don't know how else to explain <laughs> it. it. It's cursed. Yeah, it's cursed. <laughs> it's cursed. Until we move to Arlington or wherever they plan on building this stadium. Yeah, it's, it's just due. But it's, I'm excited to see him on Bears stuff. I'm excited to yes. see Drake May and uh, Jane Daniels on their respective teams, whichever ones they go to. I'm ready to see that Marvin Harrison Jr. lid oh, on, yes. on a Cardinal or a Charger, wherever he goes. All the rookies, we're going to get here in Ultimate Autographs. So it's, it is a really exciting time. But to Randy's point, he got, got himself Caleb William Mini. That's our quarterback now. we got to ride with it. I don't care about any of the nonsense. If you play football and you ball, be my guest. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, which so it looked in respectable cool. limits. Someone got into that double box college because it was at five. Now it's four away to go in that double box college. So uh looks like I'm hyping it up very nicely for these folks here in the college. I so. think it's getting going, yeah. Uh, Barry Bundy, he's a new guy. He hopped into the college single and the next jersey single as well. There we go. So Barry, uh, college has five spots to go and the jersey has seven. Yep. Once those fill out, we will be rocking and rolling with you. Those breaks will be going down, but 
Still one to go on that Diamond Game Breakers. Who is going to close it? That's the mystery. My question is, I don't understand the hesitation, ladies and gentlemen. I get it. I get it. Yeah. You look at yeah. you look at the graphic. <laughs> you look at the graphic, and you're like, oh, I don't know what's in there. Besides an Aaron Donald speed flex, which I guess isn't one of the best, isn't the greatest defensive tackle. Devontae Adams, Reggie Wayne, all these gentlemen, they charge probably that much for the autograph alone, if yeah. not more on oh, some yes. of these guys. Let alone buying the authentic helmet and or speed flex. In general, 90 bucks. It's the best bang for your buck you're going to get here at Ultimate Autographs. I would be rocking in these diamonds, especially if you want to see a break go down. It is literally one spot away. Mm, Two yes. chances. Even if you're spending 180 you are still doing okay with whoever you pull. Pretty in terms much. of buying the helmet and the autograph for that person, you're doing A-OK. Okay. I'll I say agree. that much. I agree with Ron, uh, Stevens because he makes a good, valid point. Like, as much as nobody wants Aaron Donald, I don't think the that's guy the is they retired, and he's, his value is just going to continue to go up, especially when he gets in the Hall of Fame. And then he writes Hall of Fame inscription on there. Uh, the more signature or the more autographs, the more inscriptions they uh, these players put on their helmets, uh, the value obviously goes up. So Aaron Donald, you could get it for 180 right now. And the value is just going to continue to go up. That's what Keith Carney's thing as he closes out the diamond double. There we go, Keith. Let's get two boxes. Robbie's going to uh, put that in the chat. The week off for the mini giveaway. Um, I'm not sure about a mini giveaway there, Randy, but uh, maybe. I'm not. I'm not. I, I haven't heard anything about a mini giveaway. So I will talk to the boss man tomorrow, and I will try and have a better answer for you. Tomorrow. Or, Randy, you as always, you, you guys know you can email our customer service. They'll happily help you out. But I will definitely have an answer for you tomorrow. I'm back at noon, Randy, so if you do get a chance, just hop in. Say, Stephen, what's up? What's the, like, what's the you know giveaway for the week? And hopefully I'll be able to let you know. But unfortunately, I haven't heard anything about a... Uh, I haven't heard about a giveaway. But I haven't either. This is the rumor, so... I'm guessing the I'm guessing it was a review one there, uh, Randy. I'm guessing. I believe so. Okay. So those should be going down. So in the diamonds double box break, we got Paul, Chris, Chris Tav, Chris Kohler, Paul, Zususi, Zu, uh, Sasushi, or if I'm saying your last name Paul wrong, I apologize. I say Paul C. Uh, John Ryan, Jeremy Leone, and Keith Carney. Uh, they used to do one every other Sunday if you were a leaked or hired. Oh, um, so Randy, that and we've actually that was the last one we did was Super Bowl Sunday. So I know you, you haven't been here in a yeah. while, but uh, yeah, we don't we no longer do that. So there is no mini giveaway uh, this weekend for what you're looking for. All right, John. So we got John asking for box four. This is a double box, John, so if you have another number or if you're giving us some time for others to drop a box number, uh, box four in the diamonds, we'll take that off and we'll wait on that second number. So Paul Martino, Chris Culler, Chris Taff, Paul C., John Ryan, Jeremy Leone, and uh, Keith Carney. Go ahead and drop me up another box number. He's saying, oh, okay, that makes sense. Anybody else would like to call box number? If not, uh, John Ryan, go ahead and drop me another box number, sir. Uh, Shane Huckabee, Huckabee is coming in saying, Hey, guys, what headliners are left in the vault break? Well, believe it or not, Shane, it has been paired new and old. So the old, uh, four, three headliners left, and that is Chris Olave, Fran Tarkington, and Eric Dickerson. And then we've got a whole new vault series in the that uh like rob gronkowski on the speed flex Dak prescott jonathan taylor dick buckus deon sanders aj brian uh aj brown brian dawkins patrick mahomes jj watt kurt warner miles garrett and ray lewis and the secondary headliners are jim kelly eric dickerson and nico collins so we're going to take box four and 27 from the diamonds so we got 
26 and 28. 26, all right. So, what is uh, it? Four, four and 27 from the four dice. Four and 27 is perfect. Four and 27. And Steven's going to go get those box numbers. I'll take your names over to the randomizer. And let's randomize this list eight times. Uh, how's dad life, Steven? It's fantastic. He's saying fantastic. Who is Brian Wilson? Oh, come on, Pete. You know who Brian Wilson is. Four. And all right, so here's that list. We got Paul, Chris Kohler, Chris Taft, Paul C, Ryan, uh, John Ryan, Jeremy Leon, and Keith Carney. Eight times on the randomizer. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Three, four, five, six, seven. And here's that eighth and final dice row. We got Chris Kohler at the top and John Ryan on the bottom. Did I not write that up? I got it. No worries. You're good. Uh, uh, mine are six and eight now. It goes really fast, man. What's up? Oh, six and eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah his, his kids are six and eight. So they grow up yeah. really quick. Oh, he's, they already, do. he's already five months. So, yeah, it's... Uh... They go really quick. Uh, Eric Brown, when is the live break to $27 pull starting? It's already it's... up. It's already up, my man. It's already up. Need to get your spot. Go get your spots right now. I usually put that up right away, Eric. That break page, that's that's always running. So within usually a minute or two, we always have the next break up or the next series up. All right, so here we go. Diamonds, double box break number one. In the NFC North, we've got Chris Kohler. The NFC South is Paul Martino. And we've got NFC East going to Chris Taft. Jeremy Leone's got the NFC West. Paul C's got the AFC North. Chris Taft's got the AFC South. Chris, or uh, Keith Carney's got the AFC East. And rounded it out in the AFC West is John Ryan, who got the collar, uh, box collar here in the Diamonds. So box 27 will start first. Good luck, everybody, in your divisions. Let's see. Hopefully, we've got some headline or magic here coming up in box 27. All right, folks. Who do we hit? Oh, wow. Get out of town. A hidden gem? Wow. Your running back from your New Orleans, no, New Orleans Saints, Ricky Williams, with the inscription, Smoke Weed Every Day. Wow. Way to go. Ricky Williams. Authentic. Beckett Cert. Authentic inside. That is an NFC South hit going to Paul Martino. Congratulations, Paul, on Ricky Williams with the inscription Smoke Weed Every Day. Oh. There's the Beckett Cert. A hidden gem in the diamonds. Shocker there. Wow. Shocker there. Paul Martino. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, and Eric, I got you, my man. Got five spots putting that jersey down to two. All right. Here we go. So that's done. We're getting some movement now. Eric's going to win it. Go ahead and put Mr. Ricky Williams back. And let's get ready to open up the second box and the diamonds. So that's going to put us down to 15 boxes. And we're still holding at seven headliners still left in those diamonds. Actually, let me go put this back in. Box four. 
courtesy of John Ryan calling out the box numbers. Let's see what we got. Let's see what box four. Headliner time. Well, yes, we do have a headliner, folks. In box four. Ooh, we got. Ooh. Yep, wide receiver. That's super. That's super revealing. Wide receiver. <laughs> There's three of them. There's three of them. That's what I said. Your receiver from your Indianapolis oh. Colts is Reggie Wayne. That is going to the AFC South. Chris Tapp. Congratulations, Chris. On Reggie Wayne on the Indianapolis Colts Authentic. There is the PSA cert. And he also gets the PSA cert card. Authentic inside. Everything about this lid is a beautiful lid here. Way to go, Chris. Congratulations. Wow. Super clean lid. Super clean. So that was oh yeah. Williams, and now Reggie Wayne. The Wayne Brothers. All right. So let's go ahead and write up Chris Taff, and then uh, two spots to go in the jerseys. Two spots to go in those jerseys. Who wants to go and fill those up? And then we'll get a jersey break. Uh, 15 minutes to go. That's one, two. That will put us at three. Two more. Three more boxes, ladies and gentlemen, to get your own wheel spin within 15 minutes. And uh, Steven said that uh, you guys could have done it in less time than then. What I had I've seen initially it said, but, man. I've seen it done in less time. But, you know, sometimes... Today's just one of those days. You never know. <laughs> you just don't know what we're getting ourselves into. 851. Reggie Wayne. All right. So, that is it for the Diamonds Double Box. Where our, we saw two winners coming out in the NFC South and the AFC South. Paul Martino taking home the Ricky Williams from the New Orleans Saints. And we got Chris Taft taking home the Reggie Wayne on the Colts. So let's give him a big round of applause in the chat room. Uh, we got Eric Brown saying, I got five. Uh, it says, football slash jersey, how dare you think we are away. I'm a Bears fan, so let's go. Uh, fair not dare. <laughs> far. I think far. Far. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Eric. How far? I, I, how far? I think I, we're pretty, no, pretty I, close. I, I don't think. I know. Oh, you, know. you can always check on the break page as well, Eric. If you ever do want to know for your break, click on there and it'll say two spots remaining, which is exactly how many spots are remaining. So I imagine it's going to be closed pretty soon here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Craig Crenshaw hopping in. He got two spots into the vault. Way to go. But, yeah, that break's going to be man. happening soon. How many are left in the single? Diamond single. Three to go. Three to go. Believe it or not, Adam, we are three to go in that diamond single. At $90 a spot, three people can get into that, and then we'll have ourselves a diamond single. So now we are now officially down to three headliners left and three secondaries. So six headliners left, and we're down to 15 boxes. With the single being sold out, it'll take us down to 14 boxes with six headliners, hopefully. So let's see who wants to attack the break page. I will drop the link in for that single box diamond, which is only three to go. So there you go, folks. That is the link to the break page for the diamond. And here is that link for the jerseys, which sits two away in the jerseys. 
And there's that link for you folks to get into. Again, all you got to do is click the link. It'll take you directly to our break page. And all you have to do is just add how many spots you want to pick up and go ahead and check out. And there you go. You'll get those final two spots. The jerseys are now one away. One away. Here we go, folks. We are going to get close to that. We will have a jersey break. I'll tell you that right now. With one spot to go, we will have a jersey break number two. Number two. And once that is finally uh, filled, I'll go ahead and drop that message for you folks. One to go in the jerseys. Uh, we are four to go in the double box college. Let me go ahead and drop that link in there for you folks. And there you go. So three breaks that are so close. Again, 10 minutes to go for this five box break in an hour and you'll get your own chase wheel spin towards the end of the show who would want their own chase wheel spin outside of the one and four because right now we have nobody buying into that one and four so you'll have a chance at your own gift card if you guys can give me three more boxes two more two more boxes i'm sorry two more the boxes. jersey just literally sold out so the jersey sold out yeah two more so two more boxes with 10 minutes to go. I think you guys can do it. Four spots to go in the college double. Five spots to go in the vault double. It's going to happen. It's going to so, easily happen. Eric Brown says, how many spots did I get in the jersey pool? You have six. You got six, sir. And you got a good chance of taking home an awesome jersey. Like by uh, Brian Greasy and Warren Sapp and Dan Feltz. Yeah, not bad. So, wait for the message, then go ahead and drop me a box number four. Jersey break. My goodness, I can't type tonight. Uh, jersey break number two. All right, there you go. Unfortunately, we got no bears. We have no bears. I believe we did have a Bears in that jersey. Oh, we didn't. Nope. No Bears. Bears can lurk in there. So the box number you three. You never know. Yeah. Uh, box three. All right, Eric. Box three. And let me go copy your names here. We'll add you guys to the rando. We'll keep Reggie on the desk. I don't mind that. It's a beautiful cold lid. And here we go. Here is that list of names. We've got Barry Bundy. Um, any relation to Al Bundy? I hope. <laughs> uh, Eric Brown, John Ryan, and Eric Brown again. Eight times on the rando. Here we go. Good luck for Here's your Barry's divisions. Barry's first order with us. Barry got into that, and he got into the college single. There you go. Six, seven, and here comes that eighth and final dice row. Barry at the top and Eric at the bottom. And it looks like John's right in the middle of all this. So we'll turn the randomizer off. Here we go. Powder blue break number two. Uh, Barry Bundy's got the NFC North. Eric Brown, you've got the NFC South down to the AN, uh, NFC West. John Ryan's got the AFC North. And then Eric Brown rounds out the AFC South down to the AFC East and West. Here we go. We got box number three, courtesy of Eric Brown. So let's see if Mr. Eric Brown can get a little bit of box collar magic here. Oh. Oh, yes, you do there, Sir Eric Brown. Because you got yourself a Dallas Cowboy legend. And if you don't have this guy, you have him now, Mr. Bob Lilly. On the custom Dallas Cowboys with the Hall of Fame 1980 inscription. Double cert, GSA and PSA. And it comes with the GSA cert card. There you go, sir. Bob Lilly. Every 
everybody in their personal collection has a Bob Lilly. I know I got one. Uh, unexpected. Um, Mr. Cowboy. One, once I got once I got him, I started getting him more often in in some of the break rooms that I follow. I'm like, I mean, that, that's I'm the, done with Tom, uh, Bob Lilly. That's Mr. Cowboy. <laughs> oh yeah, he is. Where's that great hat? I was gonna say, where's that cowboy's hat? Yeah. Look at that. He's a nice. I'll send it to my pops. He's a Cowboys fan. There you go. There you go. You'll love that gift. You win that one, my I'm friend. I'm sure he's uh, during your dad's time, too. There we go. What a hit. What a hit. And write up Eric. And while I'm doing that, we'll go ahead and do a quick rundown. Again, for uh, six minutes, guys, to fill up two more uh, two more breaks. That'll get you guys your own chase wheel spin. So, get after it. Let's get after it. Six, yes. six, six, six minutes, guys. Make a decision. Make a move. Get, a, get an exclusive wheel spin. Otherwise, we've got to fill out a 1 and 4. Yep. Which, again, you wouldn't be too disappointed in because it's a 1 and 4. 1 and 4 chance at winning an item. Where your odds are very good. Very good. Instead of 1 and 8 or 1 and 6, you got a 1 and 4 chance. Well, Fred uh, Crenshaw. He's putting the diamond single to 1 away. There we go. So there's another avenue here, ladies and gentlemen. If, you know, you want to get that diamond single done, maybe a jersey single as well. That could also get it cleared up. Jerseys do not, you know, a lot cheaper of a spot. But you order got to get rocking and rolling in. Exactly. We need orders to come uh, to to come up to stay on. Uh, the minute we see the break room kind of die down, unfortunately, we'll have to end the show. But uh, the more you guys keep us busy we'll we'll gladly stay on till 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 yeah, o'clock right uh it's all up to what you guys want to do what you guys want to get into what you guys want to see i know there's a lot of good stuff in the vault that i would love to see come out before we close this uh we end the show tonight uh, i'd love to see rob gronkowski come out or even the patrick mahomes uh kurt warner on the hydro so powder Diamond blue break single. number two Diamond single done. Diamond single. There guys, we go. Guys, four minutes. Can you guys close one it out? More, one more spot. One, one more, break. more break. One more break. Whew. Ooh, four minutes. The closest break to being filled out is technically the, the one and four double, but the college single is five to go. The study up double is four to go. The vault double is five to go. So... You can do this. You can pull this off, but you guys got to get in there. Get gotta in there get. now. All right. So here we go. We got the diamond single. Drop me a box number. Four. Diamond. Break number one. All right. There you go, folks. So... Sella Luster, Frank Evans, Heather, uh, Heather Livingston, Adam Hoffman, Craig Kershaw, and John Ryan. Adam wants box eight in the diamonds, so we'll give him box eight in the diamonds. So seven. All right, eight is off the ticker. Ticker is up to date. Box, box one, I'm sorry. Box eight. Box eight. In the diamonds. And here is that list of names. Gisela Luster, Frank Evans, Heather Livingston, Adam Hoffman, Craig Kershaw, and John Ryan. Um, Randy saying, people need to get in that break with the buckus lid. You could walk away with a Randy Moss straight cash homie or an authentic champ Bailey commander's lid. Nah. There you go. I mean, you don't even... You're not really wanting that big uh, buckus leg. You could definitely. Uh, I you mean, trade it with Randy. You could definitely trade up for some awesome stuff with Randy. 
I mean, for Dick Buckus, or for a Randy Moss straight home cash money for a Dick Buckus rep. Wow. That's a win-win situation right there. So here we go. Eight times on the randomizer. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final dice throw. Craig Kershaw at the top and Adam Hoffman at the bottom. Everybody else is in between. Let's go plug you guys in. All right, here we go. Diamonds, break number one. The NFC North is going to Craig Kershaw. Heather Livingston's got the NFC South. Ryan, uh, John Ryan's got the NFC East. And Gisela Luster's got the NFC West. Heather Livingston's got the AFC North. Frank Evans has the AFC South. Craig Kershaw has the AFC East. And Adam Hoffman rounds it out at the AFC West. Let's see what we've got in box number eight. Courtesy of Adam Hoffman. Got ourselves a a headliner, oh. and we got ourselves a receiver. Your Las Vegas Raiders, Devonte Adams, on okay. your standard. Las Vegas Raiders lid. Beautiful. Beckett cert on the back. Authentic inside. That is an AFC West hit. He calls out his box color magic, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Hoffman takes home the Devontae Adams Authentic. Nice. Way to go. Adam Hoffman calls out the box number. Let's give him a big hand of Big round of applause. Nice win there, Adam. Big round of applause. I know you've been waiting for that, that break to go down. Wow. On Adam's off the board. Jamar Chase and Aaron Donald left. Yep. So, 8 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. 8 o'clock. And it doesn't look like it was so close with only one break to go. To get that your own chase wheel spin, but listen, it got you guys into some of these breaks, and we've pulled out some sweet hits. sweet lids right now. Two awesome receivers, probably one of the best running backs to ever play the position, in Barry Sanders, Devontae Adams, and Reggie Wayne. You guys did an awesome job. Yeah. I, I have to give it to you. You guys did a great job for that full hour. I mean, I even though we started at 7.09, I could technically maybe give you guys another 10 minutes to maybe see where another break can go. And it's up to you. So I'll do that. Uh, we do have 28 people watching still, so let's do that. Let's give you guys another 10 minutes starting now. So at 8.11, if you guys could do another break, I'll extend that chase wheel spin for you guys, whoever gets in those five breaks. So from now till 11, uh, 8 11, you guys get into a break, close it out. You guys will get your own chase wheel spin for those that closed out five breaks. So I'm feeling a little bit uh, on the good side. So let's see about doing that. It's, I think you guys could do that. And there's what? Uh, the closest one, let's head over to that uh, randomizer. Let's do a quick refresh. All right, so the closest one that looks like, other than the one and four double box, I know the price is at 252. Uh, looks like we're five away in the college at $71. We're four in the single box, one and eight to go in this jerseys, eight to go in the single box. Looks like four to go in the double box college at 142 the price. And believe it or not, there's some awesome stuff in this college. Where are my Irish fans? We got a couple of legendary Notre Dame Irish guys in Tim Brown and Jerome Bennis. 
And then who are my uh, Miami Hurricane fans? We've got Warren Sapp and Reggie Wayne. Whoever won the Reggie Wayne in the Diamonds, there you have Reggie Wayne in the college. What a what a perfect opportunity to win that. And then you got a great way to pair Reggie Wayne with his professional team and then his college team. That would be an awesome win to take home. There you go. Great. Craig we also know, have... Left, real quick. Craig wants to know who's left in the vault. Everyone that's not yeah. named Barry Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> Barry's was, Barry was pulling the first box. We went on one box so far. That is basically the only one that's uh, gone. Craig Joseph. So, Eric Dickerson on the SMU Chrome Lake is still out there, ladies and gentlemen. Dear, uh, Dick Buckus on the Illinois Rep. Again, Warren Sapp. Deion Sanders on the authentic Florida State. And then we've got O.J. Simpson on a chrome USC Trojans with the yellow ink on the inscription. This is a rep. And then we're looking for Adrian Peterson on the Oklahoma Sooners authentic. So the ones that are reps in that college is going to be the O.J. Simpson and the Dick Buckus along with Champ Bailey and Reggie Wayne. Those are your reps. Everything else that I did not mention are authentic. So the Tim Brown, Jerome Bennis, Eric Dickerson, Warren Sapp, Deion Sanders, and Adrian Peterson are your authentics. And Eric Dickerson. Secondary hits, Jim Kelly, James Cook, and Sam Bradford. Also a way to kind of triple up in that Miami Hurricane section with Jim Kelly. Uh, double up. On the Oklahoma Sooners with Adrian Peterson and Sam Bradford. And then you got Champ Bailey and James Cook for your Georgia Bulldogs. So that's four spots to go in the double box college. That is the closest that we can get to you guys for those five breaks. Uh, Jeremy Alone says three diamond boxes and two jerseys is a five break. Yep. Yep, that is. And we're just looking but, for I think you one mean more. boxes. You mean boxes, right? Uh, I, I meant bricks. Did I say boxes or I say bricks? I heard both. So which one are you We're doing right. if you want break if you want boxes, they're only one away. If you want breaks, they're two away. So boxes. You want boxes. We yeah. want bro we want boxes. We just gotta do one more break to do five boxes. Yes, you'd have to do one more break. Yeah. So that's what that's what we're talking about. So one more break to do five boxes and the one break that's closest is this four spots to go in the double box. Even if this gets filled, you, you've accomplished it. Mm -hmm. So even if you do go over the five, it doesn't really matter. You're all going to get into this break. Yeah, I'll throw those guys. If you fill out a double, I will. Yeah, we're going to throw, throw you guys name, in there. Names twice. There you go. Even better. I mean, if you buy a double box break, you deserve double you do. chances. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> But yeah, weird. one more box, and we are good. Yep. But no one's hopped into that next jersey. The minis are seven away. One and four double is three away. That yep. vault doubles five away. College single five away. And then, like Ravi said, the study F double is four away. So 30 people watching across all three of our platforms on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Again, we started a little competition at the 7 o'clock hour. A little after 7 o'clock, we started this uh, five uh, boxes challenge within the hour. Uh, extended it for another 10 more minutes. So you got three more minutes to fill that college double box break. And those people that do fill it will be added twice to that chase wheel spin. So everybody that bought into those breaks are going to be put into their own chase wheel spin if we can close out that double box college. Uh, we'll trade the Devontae for the Reggie Wayne, Adam Hoffman says. There you go. Who was that? That was uh, Chris Taff. Adam, Chris Taff won that Reggie Wayne. I haven't seen Chris, uh, Taft in the, the chat, but if you're out there, Chris, you got to trade off from Adam. And sometimes if they're not here, you can always check in uh, later on tomorrow or 
during the week, let them know. There's uh, uh, Devontae Adams. Let me know, Chris. Adams says. Got a great lid for Devontae Adams if he's looking for uh, to trade Reggie Wayne. So, two more minutes if you guys can close out. Actually, three more minutes because I said uh, 8-11. So, three more minutes to go on that college double box break. If anybody can get those four spots. If not, I don't know. What are we going to do? What they can we do? Can, what can we they do? Don't, they don't get a uh, wheel spin. <laughs> they don't get a wheel spin. That's how it is. It's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles here in the break room. I'll take that line from uh, Bruce Almighty. Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a movie buff guy. I like to quote a lot of movies. So if you hear me just throw out some random quotes and you're like, well, where is that from? I'll let you know where it's from. That's a good one, right? Yeah. I don't mind movie quotes. And I don't I, get them all, but there are definitely some that I do get. I can't believe. I can't wait, actually. Uh, so word out there is that they're going to do a remake of Howard the Duck. Um, so I can't wait to see what this remake is going to be. I saw a little preview of the picture of the duck in. Um, a lot more meaner this guy looks than the one from the original one. But uh, it looks pretty cool. I can't, like I said, I can't wait to see what this is. Uh, this one's all about. Yeah. A lot of remix. I've, I've noticed that... Uh, a lot of these uh, movies are starting to do a lot of remakes from the 80s and uh, late 70s movies. Right. Um, oh, man, that would be awesome, right? That's a fantastic... Now, a lot of people here didn't know who Howard the Duck, like Common and uh, Colin. They're like, who's Howard the Duck? Like, How do you not know Howard I, I the Duck? I don't know who he is. Uh, Steven doesn't even know. I had, yeah. a, I had to pull up a picture of Howard the Duck from the, uh, the 80s. Um, but yeah, that, that's a great movie. Love that movie. So let's see. One more minute to go. If you guys can close out that college double box with four spots to go. Let's do a quick refresh. Still four spots to go. Three to go in that double box. One and four. And then we are pretty much wide open with the other breaks. Three to go in the one and four. Four to go in the double box. College. Let's get to the break page, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can open up next. So we did not get that last break. We're now 8-11. So we will not get that chase wheel spin for you folks. But you guys did an awesome job with the four breaks that you guys did get going. So we did see some amazing helmets like the mm -hmm. Devontae Adams, Reggie Wayne, Barry Sanders, Ricky Williams on the... Uh, Saints Authentic with the Smoke Weed Everyday inscription on there. That was pretty cool. Didn't expect that to come out in the and more or the Hidden gem section. So, uh, I don't know what else to do. I uh, gave a, another rundown. Hey, no, you're good. You're good. Hey, I mean, sometimes people are out doing other things. We are close on some breaks. We so are. I'm guessing they're going to get knocked out here shortly. Otherwise... Guys, what do you want to see? Or what yeah. are you up to? That's the real question here. It's still early. It's only 8.15, 8.12 here in Central Standard Time. 9 o'clock on the East Coast, and it's only 6 o'clock on the West Coast. So, very early here in the show. Again, it is all up to you folks what you guys want to get into. Best way to do it is someone in the chat, drop a break that you want to get done. Or is some one that someone's in? Um, I know Michael Neiman. He wants some help in those minis. The vault double. Chris Kohler's waiting patiently. Knock out two boxes there. A vault double. That's five. That's five away still. And like you said, with those, the college and the uh, vault. But you gave him my. Uh, you gave him my goal, and unfortunately, it wasn't hit today. Yeah, it wasn't. Maybe next time. Sometimes take it does. Of the wheel spin, sometimes you know? they do hit that goal, but oh. Also close today. Uh, Randy saying the dick buck is speed lid break. Uh, sorry, guys. Who's left in the old vault? The old, the old vault is Chris Olave, Frank Tarkington, and Eric Dickerson. 
the Chris Olave is a rep, and then the two are authentics. And those are the last six boxes, Craig. Yep, last six so boxes. So three, the three we know, and then three other full sizers. Yep, three headliners, three hidden gems. Don't know what those hidden gems are until you guys get to the break page, and fill that uh, either the single vault or the new diamond, or uh, the new uh, double vault, old and new. So, let's see what else you guys want to get into. 7 p.m. for me here in Wyoming, says Randy. Still early over there. That's, just, that's that mountain time. That's mountain time. Yeah, that's that's just getting dinner time. Well, believe it or not, dinner time is a wide, very, very time. That's yeah, true. I know some people eat dinner at 4 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, oh. I married one. <laughs> Every day? I mean, not every day. Oh, okay. Sometimes, but she is she is accustomed to that. <laughs> Seven o'clock dinner time. No, four o'clock. Oh, four four thirty dinner time. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So seven o'clock is snack. Oh, oh, that was all about to say. I'm like snacking around seven to eight o'clock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I'm eating again one more time before I go to bed. That's fair. <laughs> That's one hundred percent fair. So. Guys, just let us know what you want to rock yeah, and roll with. Yeah, let us know in the chat. 37 people watching uh, on Facebook, Instagram, or Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I mean, we are on Instagram and, and TikTok, but... Uh, not live, Kurt. Not live. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, again, it's still up to you, Robbie, but, again, generally, on the night shows, we hang out till at least 9.30. Yeah. Uh, but if we can't get the ball rolling... You know, nine thirty could be it. Yeah, I, and tomorrow's a whole new day. You never know what's gonna get picked apart. Come get your stuff now. You want to be the aggressor in this situation. Yeah, I mean, it is eight fifteen. I, I I don't want to really end the show this early. Oh no, not this. No, no, no. We'll be here till at least nine. This is nine fifteen. Yeah, we got like We're definitely gonna be here until you guys get the ball going. Uh, again. We've talked about it multiple times. All it takes is a couple of people to go show up, start buying into some breaks, and then that just gets the snowball effect going here in the break room. It gets other people interested in uh, in those spots too. So all we need is someone to get the fire started. Let's let's rub two sticks together, get you know, ignite that spark, and then once we get that spark. And then we get that fire rolling really nice and toasty for us here in the break room. So, who's going to be the fire starter here? Pretty much. Who's going to be that fire starter in the break room? Again, we are so close to some of these breaks here. Four to go in the double box college. Eight to go now in the double box diamonds. We're three to go in the double box one and four. And we're five to go in that single box diamond. Or uh, single box college. Five to go in the vault. In that old and new vault double box, four to go in the one and four series single box, and then eight to go in the jerseys, eight to go in the single box diamonds, seven to go in those mini helmets. So that is what is left in the break room. We're going to see which one of you guys are going to be the fire starter to get these breaks going. And also, let us know which rookie autograph you kind of, or which rookie Ooh. autograph on which helmet you are excited to see the most. Well, for, for example, example, Randy was probably very excited to see the Caleb Williams on the Bears. That one's obvious, yes. right? But hit me with something where you don't know, like maybe a Malik Neighbors on the Chargers, or Marvin Harrison Jr. on the Cardinals, or something of that nature. Which one? I was going to say, uh, Daniels on the Commanders. Daniels on the uh, Commanders. Maybe Drake Main on the Patriots. What if they don't go Drake May? Yeah. I, they said the... What they say? They said they're, they're not, you know, glued to drafting a quarterback. But it just kind of feels like they want to make that decision right now since they traded away Mac Jones. And they, you know, don't know if they necessarily believe in Bailey Zappi. <laughs> I was going to say. We've had, we've had Mr. Zappi in the room before, so. Wow. Yeah, he, you never know. Bailey Zappi, my boy can sling it. 
Well, hey, Randy's looking other than Caleb Williams. He want he's looking forward to some DeAndre Swift and maybe Keelan Allen. I'm sure those guys. Honestly, if one of those two guys was signing this weekend, I'm sure they're going to be on those teams. I just, oh yeah, that's I, right. I know they're at a big show in Virginia. So if Keenan Allen and or DeAndre Swift are there, then I am sure that we're, we're getting them on some Bears yeah, stuff. We're probably going to get some stuff soon. We got Bears stuff for DJ Moore really quickly last year, so I, I don't imagine that changing here in this situation at all. Or, you know, instead of a rookie, guys, you can also let me know, you know, which team your player signed that you want to see on their list. So, um... Let me look at the free agent tracker. Hold on one second. I'd like to know where everybody went. Free agency is just a wild time. So, for example, like Kirk Cousins on the Falcons. Where are my Falcon fans at? I'm sure they are very pumped. They got themselves a nice quarterback upgrade there. That is for sure. I'm excited to see him there. Who else? Christian Wilkins on the Raiders. Now, we didn't have Christian Wilkins on the Dolphins, but... We might have to start finding a way to get my man. Do, do, do. Leonard Williams, he re-signed. He re-signed with Seattle. Who we got here? Dan- Daniel Hunter to Houston. Ooh. Steelers trade up for a Dunze. Oh, okay. Ooh, Craig Joseph. I like a that. Prediction. I No, I like uh, that. Is that what I like to see? Uh, the rookie auto I want to see is Alt on the Bears. Oh, <laughs> Hey, some people don't appreciate the fine the fine work of linemen, all right? That'd be an excellent, excellent upgrade. I don't see anybody new from the show that they're at. Ooh, Barry Switzer is supposed to be here at that show. Barry Switzer, that's yeah. a good one. Jameson Williams. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't see any uh, free agent, notable free agents on that list. No. Bonte Adams, Tony Richardson. I hope we're getting some more C.D. Lamb. My boy's a top five receiver in the NFL. Kevin McHale. Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay. Oh, Sugar Ray Ray. Dallas Godert. Randy Gradshar. Gradshar. Yeah. Ohio State legend. Terry Mike McLaurin. Hall. Some real, real good. Uh, Teddy Bruschi. Nice. Field Steelers stuff is starting to drop. He just did his first signing in Pittsburgh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I saw that uh, someone had posted that uh, in, uh, in Facebook that he did his first uh, Steelers uh, signing. I'm sure. That, I think there's a Chicago show next month. I think so. I think so. I'm guessing those guys will be there. In Rosemont, yeah. I think Rosemont does one every month. But we do get stuff from all over. So, I mean, you never know when the... You know, the new guys and new teams are going to come yeah, exactly. to the spot. Yeah. But, Craig, do you think they're going to trade up with the Bears to get a Dunze? That's what I'm really curious about. Man, a Dunze is really good. I wouldn't be mad if the Bears got a third receiver, too, to just really help Caleb Williams. I wouldn't mind Joe Alt either, though. Joe Alt is... No. One of the best projected players in the in the draft. And it's very hard to miss on linemen when they are spectacular. Hmm. That one. Wow. Well, I'm the, the National, I think it's in Minnesota this year. I'm sure there'll be plenty of sick memorabilia stuff with everyone's new team. That much I am... For sure. Craig, are you getting any Justin Field stuff? Oh, yeah, it is. You supporting the bro? Cleveland, July 24th through the 28th. Get it in Cleveland. Wow. Look at that. Ricky Henderson. Cal Ripken Jr. Manny Ramirez. Manny, my boy. Dude was a boss. Chipper Jones. Omar Vescal, Barto Cologne. Barto oh, Cologne? Nice. He's going to be there. Last year was in Chicago. Made me feel so much poor. So poor. <laughs> yeah. 
I wanted, I man, man, I wanted to buy so much stuff. That stuff was crazy cool. I wish I had 700 bucks just to drop on the Luca Donatis autograph jersey. Oh my goodness. That thing would have been nuts. <laughs> I would have loved that. There was a nice, cool, used. I don't know if it was game used, practice used, but it was a really nice, authentic, uh, a really nice, authentic, uh, Joe Burrow jersey. Huh. Really clean. Got, like, the scrunched up shoulders and everything. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> he has uh, had enough targets between Moore, Allen, Komet, and Swift. We need help protecting him. I think Adunia is top 10, so maybe Bears, the receiver, uh, receiver class is so deep, though, maybe trading down doesn't make sense. Absolutely nor. Or absolutely not. I agree. I mean, there, yeah, that wide receiver core is very deep this year. So even if you don't really hit on one of these uh, top 10 receivers, you're definitely going to find a hidden gem in the receiver core. Uh, you got the guy from Texas who uh, tied... I don't know if he tied or if he got the uh, forty-yard dash record. Oh, um, so the uh, guy from Texas, Wor- not Worley, um, Xavier Worthy. Yeah, uh, Xavier. Yeah. Um, you got him. You got several receivers from LSU. Yeah, Other but Greg, his, pr- his price is only going to go up. Oh yeah. If he turns up for you guys. He turns up and becomes a franchise quarterback. That price is only gonna go up, my friend. I think uh, word is like Minnesota's trying to use their twentieth pick to move up to the top five, with like the Chargers to get right. uh, JJ uh, McCarthy. Uh, if that happens, that kind of changed the whole landscape, right? On things. Yes, it does. Uh, word is like Arizona was trying to trade out that number four with Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, Arizona, they should definitely want... If they're going to rock with Kyler Murray, then they should want Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. There's no... Yeah. Now, if someone, you know, gives um, a package that's like, okay, I mean, I guess this is more worth it, but yeah, they do need a lot of help elsewhere. But I, I don't think... I think Marvin Harrison Jr. just can't miss. you no, got to have yeah. him on the team. That's like a no-brainer for any team that's sitting at that four or fifth spot. Because you know what the top three is definitely – well, we don't know necessarily what Patriots are going to do. Uh, we talked about it. Like, they may be satisfied with Bailey. Right. Um, and then just kind of upgrade around him. So we don't know what Patriots – would do if they're sitting at number three. Do they go get Marvin Harrison and steal him away from the Arizona Cardinals? They need someone to throw to him first. Yeah. <laughs> they can, I don't think they can just do that. So it'd be interesting what the Patriots do. Uh, Craig Joseph says, I have uh, actually Fields is only 175 for a premium helmet. You send in. That's not bad. It's not bad? No, that's not. I have a Fields Mini with Nike visor and bumpers. Nice. Oh, there you go. Craig Joseph saying, hoping he's a backup quarterback. But Justin Fields? He's going to start off as the backup. Yes, yeah. But Russell Wilson's only there for a year. And again, I know you guys say you're you're very concerned on this year, which you should be. It is all about the next year. But Keenan Allen's only here for one year. Yeah. And he might get hurt again. Yeah. So I'm not against going to get a Doomsday or Neighbors or whichever one. I, I kind of want to see the Bears get aggressive and see if they can't pry away that four, number four pick. Like go get it. Ooh. Go get number four from Arizona. So you're see how bad saying, you want it. You're saying you're kind of seeing if the Bears I'm would not do of, something would like what Houston did last year. Yes, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, I mean, they, but they don't go and get their defender. They go and get Caleb Williams. And that's what's new saying. toy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's got great toys in DJ Mayer, DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. But Marvin Harrison Jr. and him, you guys can go on the same oh. contract. You're just good. You're yeah, good could, for the next 10 years. You could definitely years, you know? put Keenan Allen in that slot. And Go ahead. Or you could throw DJ Moore in there. You could be bored. Or, yeah, you, you could just you could mix you could it up. You could do whatever you want offensively. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you could – so many package uh, plays you could create. Right. Uh, it gives 
Just the Eberflus, Eberflus, uh, or not even Eberflus, because he's not even he's a defensive guy. But you give Shane a playbook that I mean, sky's the limit for the Bears. If, right, it is. If that happens, it really is. I mean, even if they don't get Marvin Harrison. The sky's the limit with if you get Odunze or Neighbors. Yeah, that's true. those guys are. Or if they pick up another guy in the second round. Yeah, I mean, they just have options. So, um, but I do want to give a shout out to Blake Miller, hopping into that vault double. All right. So we're four to go on that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the four party to rolling. Go. Here we go. Let's try and see some more sick names out of that. I want to see that Kurt Warner. I want to see Rob Gronkowski. Yes. The names are crazy in that. Four to go. Yes, we are. Four to go now in the double box. Vault. Who's going to join them? Still looking for someone to close out some, uh, uh, or not close out, but someone to get the fire started here in the break room with uh, 18 people watching across three of our platforms. Uh, I want that new vault. Just don't want the old, Craig Joseph. Hey, I understand that, but I understand. Uh, you got to take the risk. Um, sometimes you, that's just how the break room falls. Uh, as much as you don't want the old, but hey. Still a lot of solid names in the old, so. If you get something from the old, you never know. You get that item, and someone is looking for that certain item. And you can say, hey, I got it. Let's trade. Let's make an offer. Let's do some, uh, let's work a deal out. And therefore, you don't have to really hold on to that. Uh, either Chris Olave or Fran Tarkington or Eric Dickerson. I mean, here's the thing about the old, Craig. Eric Dickerson, I think, may be on an L.A. Rams lid. And if that's the case, then you got a chance to double up in the NFC West with the Eric Dickerson and that Kurt Warner Hydro Speed Flex. That's pretty much the only good thing about the vault is that you got a chance to double up in the NFC West. Yeah, Adam Poppins getting into that vault as well. Here we go. So we might have a vault double box coming up. Three to go in that. Let's see who wants to close this out. And uh, we'll get another one done. We're going to definitely see what comes out in that vault. We know there's six boxes left with those three headliners. And then we've got three hidden gems so craig joseph as much as you may not be a fan of chris Olave or fran tarkington or eric dickerson but you never know who's coming out in the hidden gems with those three in the old vault it's very very true but hey to each their own yes to each their own indeed exactly but we're gonna definitely some... do another one here and that and that's good news for craig as well yep. that means we're getting closer and closer to having just the new one here in the ring. Exactly. That will put us down to five. And uh, once we get it down to four or three, it literally takes off. Because people are like, let's get these three boxes out and then make it all brand new Volt. And once that happens, then you guys are straight chasing whatever is left out of these uh Three. Right. Three. Well, I'm sorry, six. There's still six left, but the three, six boxes. The but, three listed names you're talking about. But in the new, you don't know what. Uh, <laughs> we don't know who's coming out of the new. Right. Because it could be all be hidden well, gems. It couldn't be Barry Sanders anymore, but well, we already yeah, did pull Yeah, <laughs> we pulled the Barry Sanders, unfortunately. But um, again, those six vaults where we pair them. All of them could be all hidden gems. And then when it comes to the new vault, we've got nothing but all headliners for you folks. Right. So that's that's the good thing about it, um, Craig Joseph. So. All right, folks. Let's see, what's going on? Let's see. Woods in line to play at the Masters. Oh, okay, so okay. that's some good news. Tiger Woods is in line to play his 26th 
Masters. Wow. Unbelievable. Very nice. 26th? Was it? 26 Masters? Yeah, 26 wow. Masters. Good on him. Wow. Hopefully the back may hell uh, keep up, you know? Gotta have the back. I believe it's his knees that it was giving him problems. I know it was the back last year. Of, uh, the back was last year. He's had a lot of surgeries. So let's see what's going on in the basketball world. Looks like uh, Celtics win over the Trail Blazers. 124 to 107. Pelicans over the Suns. 113 to 105. Thunder over the Hornets. Mavericks over the Rockets to extend their lead now in that play in tournament. 76ers and the Spurs in overtime. 113 to 111 with four minutes to go in overtime. We got the Kings over the Brooklyn Nets. 93 to 70 with. Four, I'm sorry, with six minutes left in the fourth. Uh, Jazz and Warriors in the second quarter of that. Looks like Warriors are up 68 to 54. And then later on at the nightcap game, we've got the Lakers and Minnesota Timberwolves with uh, LeBron James sitting out on this one. So, Bulls lose. Tonight against the Magic 113 to 98. It looks like Magic's got our year this year. Yeah, suit. well, they they have a lot of young talent, and we don't have, have that old year. people. Yeah, yeah, we're just not that good of a team. No, <laughs> we play up to competition sometimes, but we also play down. We do, definitely do. Those Knickerbockers, the New York Knicks, uh, beating up Milwaukee. Today, 122 to 109 to kind of catch up on that second place in the Eastern Division. Only sitting one game back now. Nice. From the Milwaukee Bucks. So that is uh, your rundown of the NBA scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. Getting down to the end of the season with these winter sports. So I think we're like down to uh, only six or seven games left for both the NBA and the NHL. Yeah, that's true. So Playoffs are, are coming out. Yeah. And I love hockey. the NBA playoffs, but I know there's a lot of people here that love the NHL playoffs. It's just an exciting time of year. Cubs it baseball is. starting yeah. to get rolling. There's something yep. happening every day. It's truly, truly awesome. It is, definitely. Uh, so right now, the Bulls will be playing Atlanta, the ninth and 10th spot. Uh, right now, it's going to determine who plays home. Either who Bulls. Did, I think right I think, now, it's Bulls. Oh, uh, okay. Because they're in the ninth spot. Mm. Yeah, it's just, I wouldn't want to face <laughs> any team if I were the Bulls. They just, uh, oh, they're very man. confusing to me. It, it, they are. They 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 truly are. I I I I like some of the younger players, but they don't. Uh, we're just not that good anymore, and we need to rebuild. We do. Uh, we I for like I said, I've been telling people they need to get rid of Vooch. Uh, I I've I never DeRozan. I we'll never Vooch. really liked Vooch at all. Um, everyone's like, oh, he's an all star. Yeah, he's an all star. He was an all star. Was an all star. Yeah. But I, I, it's like you've got too many shooters on this team that there's no defense whatsoever. I feel like all these just because you can shoot doesn't mean you can't play defense. Yeah, but we don't have any. We don't have either. We don't. We have don't have none. Shoot. Yeah, we don't have anything. And they're like, oh, you know, we've got to keep, you know, Vooch because he's a big part of this team. I'm like, what are you watching that <laughs> you think that he's such a big part of this team that you think if you remove him. Are we are we still better or are we still worse? Great question. It's a great question. I don't. I don't and he I don't and, think and, we're and they I always think we're just bad. They always <laughs> told me, well, well, the, he the Bulls are still the Bulls are good with him in the lineup. And I'm like, that's not the point. The point I, I'm asking is he better with or without being in the lineup? Here's the question: Do you want to win a title or do you not want to win? A title? <laughs> exactly. And unfortunately, in the NBA, if you don't have one of those top five, top ten guys, you're not going anywhere near a title. No. And that's what the Bulls are. We're not going near a title. 
And I honestly gotta say, the time time is up with Billy Donovan. It's up with everybody. Uh, the front office isn't cutting it either. Nothing's working. I don't know who's got the grand recipe to fix it. AK? Or Turl? Yeah, he's not... Uh, I was gonna say he got didn't he get fired from the last organization? No, he just uh, he just he just left. Oh, he just left to take this yeah position. Mm-hmm. He just left okay. to take this position. Okay. He was with Denver. Yeah, he was. That's what I'm saying. He was <laughs> with Denver, and he was building up that organization. I think nice. they were. I think they were already built up, but I think he wanted a challenge of different of a different variety. You know, he's failed at that challenge. Well, <laughs> you're not going to do... I'm just telling you, Rob, you're not going to do too well when you don't have a top five player. And he left a situation that had one of the top five players. Yes. And now he's... Unfortunately, so, it's not working out. let me throw this out there. Do you find it more of his fault? Or do you put more of the blame on the owner? Who maybe doesn't give AK the, the spending money? I don't think it has anything to do with spending money. I don't think people want to come here. I don't think people like our management. I don't think there's a lot. And, that, of, and that's what I'm saying. So does it go with? Uh, it's got because it's, 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 it? it's an all encompassing issue. That's that's the thing. It's all encompassing. Yeah. AK's trying his best. Uh, he tried to make a nice deal for Vooch. It didn't work out. They got better players like Franz Wagner and Wendell Carter. Yeah. Uh, just guys that like, and then Franz Wagner he'll be in this break room one day, I believe. We got Paolo Bencaro. He should be in this break room in our one and four right now. That's how good he is. Yep. And just we don't have any young talent, and we're just not good offense. We're not good we're at done. anything. We're so, done. We enough haven't. about the Bulls. I can go all day about them. What I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is rip boxes. Boxes. Yes. Where are we at? We're at double overtime in the Spurs. Uh, oh, Spurs Sixers. Double game. overtime. Wow. Double overtime. Oh, Shane. Shane Huckabee, he got in. There we he go. He wants the two away. He wants in on the vault. Yep, two to go now. Two to go in that vault double box. Two to go in that vault double. Let's get it going, ladies and gentlemen. Two to go. I'm going to go drop that link for you folks. There you go. There's that vault. Double box link. All you got to do is click on that link and it'll take you right to that break page. Uh, at the restream, I hit that butt kiss and I've got you a Randy Moss or a Champ Bailey lid. Yeah. Hey. He's just, he, need, he needs someone to, Randy's to got, take the W, you know? Yep. Someone go out and win that. And if you're not like, ah, I don't want the big buckets, well, we got a guy for you. We got a guy with a sick, sick offer. Waiting for you. Oh, yeah. And here's that vault, ladies and gentlemen. Everything's available except for the Barry Sanders camo. But there's that Dick Buckus rep. The Deion Sanders is a rep. The A.J. Brown salute to service 2024 is a rep. And the Jonathan Taylor. We are we're thinking this is a slate. But once we open this up, we'll get a better view of what this is. Uh, Jonathan we'll Taylor a more Holtz's. definite answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everything else that I did not mention, like the Brian Dawkins and the Ray Lewis, Patrick Mahomes, Miles Garrett, Rob Gronkowski, Dak Prescott, J.J. Watt, and the Kurt Warner are all authentics. Not to mention our secondary Jim Kelly, Eric Dickerson, and Nico Collins are also authentics. And here are those videos of the those speed flex. So here's the Rob Gronkowski on the Chrome slash um I don't know what else you call that, a matte finish to it, but this thing is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful lid with that chrome face mask and the chrome visor. There's the 3D bumpers. Uh, on the front and back and then on the face mask this thing is a beautiful lid to be just sitting here in the vault wondering when it's going to get filled and where is this going to go to talking about another lid that's phenomenal we've got the kurt warner hydro speed flex with all the stickers and all the 3d bumpers 
with the hydro speed, or I'm um, sorry, the hydro face mask, and then it's blue on top, and then the chrome blue visor. I mean, we've never seen a Kurt Warner. I should say I've never seen a Kurt Warner come through the break room like this, and I'll tell you what. If I was not here today, I would definitely be trying to get my hands on that Kurt Warner. Here's the Patrick Mahomes. He's on the Flash Kansas City Chiefs with those awesome Chief feathers in the front. In the red ink with the gold visor. In the red face mask with the 3D bumpers in the front. Again, another beautiful lid. And then we also have the Ray Lewis, which is cracked. And it's gold. It's got the black. I mean... Here's another wonderful lid to have with Ray Lewis's huge signature. Covers majority of the helmet. Also has that chrome visor you see there. This thing is a beautiful lid. That is what's all sitting in the vault right now as we speak. And with only two spots to go? Two, one, spots, to two go. spots to go. This is what you guys have a chance at in that new vault and the old vault and then again we're talking about mr chris alave frank tarkinson and eric dickerson along with the and more three of the bonus bangers coming out in the old so that is what's in the da in the vault ladies and gentlemen now it's up to you folks to get to that and fill those last two spots those last spots Hopefully will take us a little over the nine o'clock hour and while we're doing that all in, All it takes is you guys to uh, get the ball rolling and then it gets other people Interested to see what uh, is being broken during their uh, during your break and you're like wow that was in the vault mm -hmm. I, I need to get in the vault now because I got to get my chance or my hands on a J.J. Watt or Miles Garrett or Ray Lewis if you're a Ravens fan out there. Right. Or Philly fans out there on the Brian Dawkins. Uh, we got him and A.J. Brown out there. It's a lot of good names. So many good names in that vault. Not to mention the Chris Olave, the Frank Tarkenton, and Eric Dickerson. Right. I'm more intrigued with the non-headliners. My favorite section is those hidden gems because i have no idea that's the that's my satisfaction i love the excitement i get when i pull out a hidden gem because i'm like you've got to be kidding me right this thing is sitting here in the diamonds nobody knows about this lid right until i pull it out from the cloth bag and i show it to you and it's like wow how is this still sitting here in our break room in the Hidden Gems? I can't believe it. That's a fantastic question. I That's can't wait. I can't question. wait. So two to go. Who's going to close those out? Come on, people. Let's see. If you guys could close this out in five minutes, those people that bought into that double box, I'll give you guys a wheel spin. Okay. Double wheel spin. Is it the double box? You guys close out this break. Whoever closes this out in 10 minutes, you guys will get your own chase wheel spin for this double box vault just for closing it out. How long do they have? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to 857. 857. I'll even be so nice to give you 13 minutes. I'll give you until 10 until 9 o'clock. Exactly 9 o'clock. You heard the gentleman. I'll give you till exactly 9 o'clock to close out this double box vault with two spots to go. Because it's been sitting here for almost a good half hour at two spots. So yeah, it has. It, we got we got to try to push this out the door. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to hopefully give you guys a little more spark to close out that vault double box with two spots to go. 168 the price and you have a chance at a chase wheel spin for a gift card upwards to a hundred dollars to win back some money 
I'm not gonna say. I mean, we have. I have hit on a hundred dollars before. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you do hit a hundred dollars, you're basically getting that double box vault for only sixty eight dollars. That's and that's, true. that's a win win situation right there. So again, how bad do you want this vault series? Because right now, if you fill this out with two spots to go, you get your own chase wheel spin for those that bought into the double box, and that's. 16 names because that's double your names so you get twice the names added to the chase wheel spin fair enough that is probably the sweetest deal so far tonight other than the five breaks that we didn't get to so I know we could definitely get this with two spots to go two spots to go in the double box vault and you'll get who knows a chance to double up with the uh, AFC or uh, the NFC West, and then hit on the chase wheel spin for some extra cash here in the break room. I can't, I cannot sweeten the deal any better than that. Fair enough. That's like that's that's the ice cream, the whipped cream, the sprinkles, and I just literally put the cherry on top with that right God, there. You heard the man. He sweetened the pot. Let's close that out. So, ball's all in your court now, folks. The ball is in your court. Who is going to be those two people to close out that double box of vote? Nine, uh, 8.49, so 11 minutes. 11, don't let this slip away, folks. Do not let this. You guys let that five break slip away with oh so close. Do not let this slip away to have a chance at a wheel spin and to close out that vault double box. You do not want this to slip through your fingers. So you got a, a best chance right now to get two helmets from two great breaks mm-hmm. and then a chance at the chase wheel spin for a $100 gift card. That's true. I Very mean, true. You heard the man. Make it happen. It is a sweet deal here in the break room. 13 people watching. I know... I have at least two people out there watching right now that are really interested in this vault. Let's get to it. Let's fill those out, and then we'll have a break. And then, who knows? While we're doing that and people are watching, they're like, wow. Um, Fred Tarkenton came out? And let's say Patrick Mahomes came out. Right. Well, that just sparked some interest now in the new vault because... That's true. You know, Patrick Mahomes is gone. No one. I know you don't want Gronk to go, and I know you don't want Kurt Warner to go. Now's so, the time. Now, now is the is time. Because, like I say, I, when I do the the afternoon shows, you do not want to wait till six o'clock. Because a lot of times during the week, our six o'clock shows get really hot, and once six o'clock comes around, those opportunities kind of go out the window because we do get a lot of people that watch this show and. Once they get hot, that's it, folks. They they stay hot. Um, you know, the, the Nate Alberts of out there, you know, we've got a lot of people out here that play with us, and once they get going, forget about it. You know, you, you blink twice, and you're like, well, where the hell did those breaks go? Well, right. you, you blink, they're gone. And you don't want to blink twice here because here's a chance to get two amazing helmets in the vaults with an opportunity to win a $100 gift card right oh, now. One to go. Nine minutes to go. One spot to go. One spot to go in that double box vault. Who's going to close it out? Who wants to be my Marion Rivera, my Craig Krimble? Uh, Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to be the closer. And I know there's a lot of good VIPs out there watching right now that are just going to close that out right now for me. I know I trust my viewers out there, my VIPs, I like to call them, the people that watch us daily, and we, I, know, I know there's a couple closers out there. Uh, I wish Nate Elbers was out here. Uh, who else was a, a closer of mine? Uh, Craig Kershaw was out there. I just bought a vault ticket. One yep. left. Mm-hmm. Says Lucky Locks. Yep. Hey, there Crazy's you go, Lucky. In. Mr. Ron's in. Thank you so much for getting into that break. Hopefully, we're going to find someone, and if we can't, 
How about if you, do you have someone out there, Lucky Locks, that are interested in our breaks? Why don't you tell them to get into and get that last final vault uh, break spot so that way we could definitely close this up. And who knows? Have a little friendly competition with your friend in that vault. Let everybody know about the UA break room. It is a fun break room to be in, to be a part of. Uh, we've got so many good stuff. Uh, sports memorabilia. Uh, not even sports. We've got movie stuff. We've got um, boxing stuff. Wrestling stuff. Uh, you name it, we pretty much try to get our hands in it. Uh, let's see. I know when I first started here, I pulled out uh, a famous uh, snowboarder. Uh, Kim, um, the, uh, the, the, the Asian girl from the, from the United States, uh, Olympic, uh, snowboarding team. She was on her, uh, snow goggles. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, that was pretty cool. That, um, that is pretty cool. Who else did we pull out that was, uh, just random, uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, didn't he, wasn't he on a gun? Yeah, we've had Chuck Norris on guns, yeah. I mean... On a prop gun. That was pretty cool, too, to see. Right. So, one to go. One to go. Who's going to close this out, this double box vault series, with six minutes to go? Again, whoever closes this out will get their own chase wheel spin. It's going to be double, because it is a double box break, so your names will be added twice. And... That way you'll get double the chances at winning the top spot for a chance to go to the chase wheel spin. Uh, the majority of the items I've won in the break room, I was able to make a decent pro. See? See, guys? There you go. Lucky Locks has pretty much validated what we have always been preaching here in the break room. A lot of the stuff that people buy here and they turn it over and they make a great decent profit in some of the stuff they want they win here in the break room All right. so again that, 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 that vault is closed and we got the vault closed so thank you whoever did close out that that was mr abermitz chris chris abermitz way to go chris thank you so much for closing out that double box vault thank you sir all the items were great quality that's what we're talking about lucky locks great stuff great quality stuff here in the break room and again some of the stuff that you may not want to keep in your personal collection you could go out there and resell it and still get your monies back and much more so I'll wait for that to be coming up and here is that message drop me two box numbers four volt double box break number two And we're looking for Jeremy Leon, Craig Kershaw, Blake Miller, Adam Hoffman, Shane Huckabee, Ryan Kazi, and Chris Abermans. Give you guys a, cue, a few minutes to sit there. Uh, Miller's dropping 19 from the new. All right. And anybody want to pick a number from the old? I got 1, 19, 26, 29, 31, and 35. And 31 from the old. All right. So, Miller. So, 19 from new, and then what? Uh, 31 from the old. 31 from the old, okay. 19 from the new. All right, and here is 31 old. From the 19 from the new, right? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 19 from the new. 19 from the new. 19 from the new. Alright, there you go. Alright. Got those boxes. All right. Go 
take this list of names on over to the randomizer. Randomize this list eight times for you folks. And here's the randomizer. Here's that list again. Jeremy Leone, Craig Kershaw, Blake Miller, Adam Hoffman, Shane Huckabee, Ron Kazi, and Chris Abermans. Good luck, everybody, on your divisions. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here comes that eighth and final dice row. Adam Hoffman at the top, Craig Kershaw at the bottom. Everybody else in between. Let's turn the randomizer off, and here we go. We've got box 31 from the old. So that's the one we're going to do first. I didn't even tell your divisions. Uh, Adam Hoffman has the NFC North. I kind of got ahead of myself. I was ready to open this box. Uh, Craig Kershaw's got the NFC South. Shane Huckleby's got the NFC East. Jeremy Lone's got the AFC West. Chris Abramans has the AFC North. Blake Miller's got the AFC South. And Ron Kazi has the AFC East. Rounds it out. And the AFC West is Craig Kershaw. Those are your divisions, ladies and gentlemen. And good luck. Here we go, box 31 from the old. Let's see what we got. Headliner time? Maybe. So unfortunately, this will not be a headliner. So this is a hidden gem. Necessarily. You got Patrick Queen oh, on okay. the LSU. Nice. Now I know this guy just got traded to. Um, I believe he's on the, the Steelers. On the Steelers, yes. I think he, you think he signed a new deal with that. He was with the Ravens. So I don't know. I don't think much changes. So AFC North hit. Yeah. All right. So AFC North hit Chris Abermans. Taking home Patrick Queen. There you go, Chris. It is a rep. Beckett cert on the back comes with a Beckett cert. So Patrick Queen. There we go. Patrick Queen. Great safety. Right. Great player, part of that 2019 championship team. An excellent addition to the Steelers linebacking history. That's without a doubt. Oh yeah. Alright. What a great hit, Chris Abermans. Now we're gonna see what's coming out in this new box. Since we uh, hit this hidden gem. That means those three headliners are still out there in the new, or I'm sorry, in the old. In the old. Oh, wow, LSU. Very nice hit, right? Talking about college, we've got one right here in the vault. In the old, too. Pull the Bronx says Lucky Locks. Well, we're about to find out right now what's in box number 19 from the new. And here we go. Box 19. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Let's see what we got. In the Jonathan Taze box. That's the only number 19 I know that's, you know. Okay. We have an authentic. Oh, there it is. Oh. We got a quarterback. A quarterback during his time. 
Mr. Dante Culpepper okay. on the Minnesota Vikings flash with the inscription Skull. Beckett Cert, authentic on inside. NFC North, Adam Hoffman. Congratulations, Hello, Adam. Adam. On your Dante Culpepper. Oops. Dante Culpepper. Nice. So, Adam Hoffman. He got himself a, a Devontae Adams, and now he's got a, a Dante Culpepper. Adam Hoffman's starting off great here in the break room. Taking, uh, actually getting two wins here tonight. Two very solid wins, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, a great quarterback and a great receiver. Don't take Culpepper. No reason to not run another one back if you guys don't no. want to. Why not? That was fun. So, 9.04, again, we will stay on until 9.30. It gives you guys almost a full half hour to, you know, start hitting that break page and start filling out some more breaks. Don't have to stay on until 9.30. We could stay on until 10, 11. But, uh... Oh, I thought I had a cert card. I'm losing my mind here. You're good. All right. Way to go. All right, folks. So that is it for that new and old vault double box break number two. Our two big winners in the NFC North is Adam Hoffman taking home Deon, uh, Dante Culpepper. And in the AFC North, Chris Abermans taking home that LSU rep Patrick Queen. Uh, Shane's asking what headliners are left in the college break. Good question, sir. Let's all go to the break page together, and we'll find out right now. Here's that randomizer. Here is our break page. Here's what's left in that college. We're four spots to go still in that college double box. And in this college, uh, college break, we're looking for those uh, 13 headliners. Those 13 headliners are Tim Brown on The Authentic. And we are looking for Champ Bailey, Georgia Rep. And Reggie Wayne is on a rep. And Dick Buckus is on a rep in the college. So those three reps, um, oh, including uh, OJ Simpson. So Champ Bailey... Reggie Wayne, O.J. Simpson, and Dick Buckus are your reps. And then everything else that I did not mention is going to be your authentic. So Tim Brown and Jerome Bennis, Eric Dickerson, Warren Sapp, Deion Sanders, and Adrian Peterson are your authentics. So that is what's left as a photo. Your secondary headliners are Jim Kelly, James Cook, and Sam Bradford. So again, a couple of chances to double up here or triple up here. If you are uh, University of Miami Hurricanes, you've got Warren Sapp, Reggie Wayne, and Jim Kelly. For your Irish fans, i got Tim Brown and Jerome Bennis. My Oklahoma Sooner fans, I've got Adrian Peterson and uh, Sam Bradford. And then for your Georgia Bulldogs, I've got Champ Bailey and James Cook on those helmets. So that is what's left in the college. Shane, not to mention those hidden gems are still out there in the college. Don't know what those hidden gems are until you guys get to the break page, attack it, fill those spots, and we all find out together what is left in the college so again four spots to go for 142 a spot those headliners are still what's left in the college diamonds these are what's left in the diamonds we got jamar chase and aaron donald 
those are your two headliners left in that diamond series. Speed all uh, uh, speed flex, I should say, for that Aaron Donald lunar with the gold visor. This team is an absolutely beautiful lid. Not even, I mean, not to mention the Jamar Chase. Also, I'm a military guy. Love my camel. This is a great lid for any military vet out there that likes to represent the military. Great lid to have, especially Jamar Chase. Top five wide receiver going into this season. Uh, look for this guy to have a back uh, bounce back year. Uh, he got hurt. Joe Burrow got hurt. Uh, this team is going to be rocking and rolling come uh, this upcoming season. <clears throat> so those are your two headliners in the Diamonds, not to mention the secondary headliners in Kenneth Walker the third, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. I should say Defensive Player of the Year, Will Anderson. Uh, and Jim Kelly out there. So Jim Kelly in the college and Jim Kelly in the Diamonds. We got Will Anderson also in the Diamonds and Will Anderson in the... Um, Is it Will Anderson in the Diamonds? I think that's where did we, we pull him? Oh, I thought we no, had he's, he's, there. he's in the Diamonds. I thought he was somewhere else too. He Will might Anderson. have been in the minis. Or, he's always in the minis. He's in the minis. Oh, there he is. He's in the minis. Yeah. As a headliner, right? Draw on a blank. Yeah, he's a headliner in the minis, and he's a second ed, uh, secondary headliner in those diamonds. So that is what is left in the diamonds for headliners. In the one and four, we've got three amazing headliners left. The Ozzy Smith doing the backwards flip. He would do this every time during the uh, Cardinals win. Uh, this guy was awesome to watch during the 80s. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance because I was born in the 80s, but I heard some amazing stories of Ozzy Smith. Miguel Cabrera. Now, I did get to watch this guy grow up. Uh, this guy, triple crown winner. This guy's got stats galore. This guy is going to be a definitely a uh, first ballot Hall of Famer when his time comes. But we got Miguel Cabrera on the baseball bat, and then Hakeem Olajuwon. Yes, Hakeem Olajuwon is Randy's favorite NBA player of all time. Well, there you go, Randy. He is available in the 1-4 and four on the Wilson ball. There you go. Those three headliners are still out there, and we're looking for a bunch. I mean a bunch of secondary headliners, like Johnny Bench. Uh, we've got the Masters coming up now this weekend. John Daly, he's out there. George Kittle on the Funko Pop. We got Lance Berkman, Gary Payton, and Steve Yeiserman. Where are my hockey fans out there? Uh, we got Steve Yeiserman out here in the one and four. Not to mention the and more. The hidden gem section. That is my favorite section because I have no idea what's coming out. Uh, so five to go in the single box college for $71. So if 141, or I should say 142 is a little bit out of your range. We do have it a little bit cheaper for you folks at $71. Seven to go in the next double box vault. This is light break number three. 168 is the price. Looks like someone already got into it. And now we're still, uh, we're sitting at seven spots remaining. Four to go in the or, uh, this one and four. It is a four-spot break, so it is always going to be at four spots. This is probably one of the breaks that are really good to get into because your odds are really good. It's only a four-spot break, so you're either going to get football, baseball, basketball, or everything else. And you get a chance at that basketball, well, you get, congratulations, Hakeem Olajuwon. You get baseball, you get either Ozzie Smith or... A chance to get Miguel Cabrera. So there's a chance to double up right there in the baseball category. And again, not to mention in the and more section, I'm sorry, the secondary, Johnny Bench, baseball, John Daly, everything else as golf. Football will be George Kittle. There's Lance Berkman in the baseball section, Gary Payton in the basketball, and then Steve Yeiserman in everything else. So you get the baseball section. That is some awesome stuff in the baseball. The Ozzie Smith, Miguel Cabrera, Johnny Bench, Lance Berkman. 
Yeah. I mean, this is a great time to be a baseball fan. We got the baseball season just kicking off. We're literally now entering the second week of baseball season. Let's get into that one and four and get your hands on that Ozzie Smith photo or the Matt, or uh, Miguel Cabrera on the bat. Because this guy, his value is just going to go up with him being inducted into the Hall of Fame here. And then Akeem Olajuwon, which, again, Randy's favorite NBA player. Uh, I would definitely trade something for that as well, he says. Uh, it sounds like Randy's got a huge collection and is willing to give up anything for what he's looking for. Uh, like the uh, hiccup. Yeah, I almost had hiccup. Uh, like Hakeem Olajuwon or the Dick Buckus that mm -hmm. he's looking for. And we're at seven spots. $27 a spot in our custom jerseys. We are looking for headliners like the Dan Fouts and Warren Sapp on the Creamsicle Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Bob Greasy on the Dolphins. The only quarterback to go 17-0 with the team, Bob Greasy. Warren Sapp, great signature. I love Warren Sapp only for the fact that uh, it's huge. It's legible. It's unique in his own way, uh, like the Jerome Bennis, like the Charles Haley's out there, the Derek Brooks that right. you know s some of them like like to put the smiley face. Obviously, Jerome ba uh, Bennis likes to draw the bus on there. So that's what I love about these uh, signatures, like the Warren set. They're huge. They're unique. They're awesome to have. Uh, secondary hits in those jerseys, nothing. But we do have a bunch of uh, hidden gems coming out in those jerseys. So we're down to, is it 19 boxes or is that 14? For the jerseys? Yeah. 14. Okay, 14 boxes to go. Again, three of those headliners. And then we'll have 11 uh, hidden gems coming out in those jerseys. Don't know what those hidden gems are. Could be a Dick Buckus. Don't know. I mean, we had him. We've had him. He, but in the jerseys, he'd probably be a headliner. He would be. A he's he's that good. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see who's coming out in those hidden gems. Eight to go in that single box diamonds, and then we're seven to go in the minis. In the minis, we got headliners like the John Elway in this year's new salute to service helmets. And then Joe Green on the Pittsburgh Steelers with the Hall of Fame inscription. There's Will Anderson on the Lunar. Now imagine you get Will Anderson in the minis. You head over to the Diamonds and you hit on the NFC South and get Will Anderson. We don't know what Will Anderson is on in the secondary hits, but if he is on a Lunar, you got a chance to double up on those lids in the minis and the diamonds for the lunar. That's true. That would be a great awesome to pair up perfectly well with those two. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So those four, five. Oh, also Randall Cunningham on your Minnesota Vikings standard purple people eaters lid. And we got some uh, no secondary headliners, but we do have the and more. The hidden gems, I like to say. Uh, 14 boxes to go in the minis, five headliners. That means we're going to have 12. I'm sorry. We're going to have 11, uh, 11 hidden gems coming up in those minis. Uh, I hit the Ray Lewis mini. I love it, says Kevin. Nice. There you go. He hit it, and he's loving it. Let's see what that, what did that, oh, yeah. The thing's awesome. The clips. Wow. Now, I got Ray Lewis on the standard uh, Baltimore uh, Ravens lid, and that is even cooler, too. Uh, so those are pretty much what's left in the break room, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 917. Let's see about closing up that double box one and four with three spots to go. I believe we could probably get that done tonight. So if anybody wants to get that one and four double box to go, here we go. Copy this link. I'll go throw it in the chat. Let's see if there's any movement in that one and four with three spots to go. There's that link for you folks. 
Let's see about anybody interested in some of the items in this one and four, like the Ozzy Smith, the Miguel Cabrera, and the Hakeem Olajuwon, not to mention our secondaries like Johnny Bench, John Daly, George Kittle, Lance Berkman, Gary Payton, and Steve Yeiserman. So, 9.17, 9.18. Let's see if we can close this out by 9.30. If we close this out by 9.30, great. We'll do that. And then, uh, we didn't. Did we get there? Oh, we did. We did get those closed out in time, right? Oh, yeah, the vault. The yep. vault. So you can did. just take that list. So we just take that list, and uh, we'll do that vault uh, old and double box. For those that did close that out in time, uh, you guys will do that. And then... Uh, if it gets sold out, we'll do the one and four break, and then uh, we'll see where we're at after that. And if we are somewhat closer, if it's wide open, I think it would be a good time to sign off. And then okay. um, maybe get these guys a pre-fill for you guys tomorrow. That works you and too. Colin that are here too. tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow night with Common. So... so from now till 9.30, if you guys can close out that one and four... With three spots to go, we'll do that. And if not, we'll do the chase wheel spin for that bolt. And then we'll wrap it up here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll end it on a good note. Hopefully with the one and four. Yeah. Uh, Josh is saying, you looking for buckets on the Bears or college lid? Well, I think Josh is just looking at that one right now. Because it's the only Dick Buck is available, but I'm sure Randy is willing to talk. Oh, yeah, Randy. He's just saying, if anybody hits that Dick Buckus, the orange one, which is right here on that new Volt series. I'll throw the randomizer up. So he's talking about this. If anybody hits that, he's got some. Oh, yeah, that one's in there, too. Yeah. He's got some Buckus and some. Actually, he's got a good sum. He's got a straight homie, uh, Randy Moss lid that he won here in the break room. He also got a Champ Bailey Black Authentic that he's looking to trade. Uh, and then we also have that Dick Buckus on the rep in the college series right here. So that also is what he's trying to talk about too. So, But yeah, he said it right there. He'll take anything on the buckets. You heard the man. He's got Ray Lewis and a CJ2K jersey as well. Mm, I see you. Wow. So, let's see. All right, well, you got two people that bought into that double box college break. So, now that's sitting at four spots to go now. So, if, if you guys can close out... The college double box or the one and four with three spots to go will be gladly to stay on. A little extra. Yeah, but, we don't have to go at 930. But yeah, we don't have to go. But the ball's got to be rolling. You're yeah. absolutely correct. Exactly. We got to see some kind of movement. Ah. Definitely got to see some movement to stay on. Not what I wanted to hit. Uh, let's see. Do a quick refresh. Still four, still three. And it looks like we're still kind of wide open on everything else. So here we go, folks. Four to go in that double box college and three to go in the one and four. Let's see who wants to get some movement. With eight minutes to go, 20 people watching across all three of our platforms on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. I know I have somebody here that's interested in this college double box break with four spots to go like headliners like tim brown and jerome venice champ bailey reggie wayne eric dickerson dick buckus warren sap Deion sanders oj simpson f simpson and adrian peterson not to mention our secondary headliners like jim kelly james cook and sam bradford these are some amazing helmets in the college Let's get to that brick page and fill those last four spots in that double box college. Get it. We're so close. All it takes is one person to take it down to three. 
people see that there's movement, then three people will get into that double box college and we'll have ourselves a college break. I'm telling you, it works all the time. Once one person gets it down to three, then it gets the ball moving a lot quicker because now we're seeing movement in that college. But when you don't have people buying into it and it just stays stagnant, it kind of, you know, shies people away. You're like, hey, you know, I don't want, I don't like breaks that sit for a while. I want to see breaks that have a constant momentum, a constant um, fire to it. You right. know, that's what keeps the break room going is that people likes to see the consistency here in the break room. So as long as we have consistency, uh, folks, we will definitely stay on. But I think overall we had a good show. I mean, the Barry Sanders on the camel lid. We've got the Devontae Adams, the the Reggie Wayne lid. Uh, some great, some great stuff tonight. Yeah, great stuff came so, out of the room. That's a fact. I I can't be too discouraged uh, for a Sunday. This is my first Sunday night filling in. I think we did a phenomenal job uh, for for a Sunday night for my first Sunday night. So right, not too bad. Not too bad. We saw some great stuff, but it sets up us. Uh, it sets us up nicely for tomorrow. I can't wait to see uh, how everybody turns out. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of chaos going on tomorrow with this whole eclipse going on tomorrow afternoon. Um, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see how well this works out for us here in the break room tomorrow. I think plenty of people are gonna go on the website. They're gonna see that break. Like, oh, the new Volt's paired with the old one. Yes. Let's go after it. Let's get after it. Especially when they see the Rob Gronkowski and that uh, Patrick Mahomes and the Kurt Warner. Right, yeah. Those uh, are going to be so nice. Whew. The nice Ray elements. Lewis. I mean, that is just nasty, nasty lids there in the fault. Uh, I mean, there's nasty lids across all these breaks. I guess the Diamonds, the Aaron Donald Speed Flex, those Minis. The John Elway, the Will Anderson, the Marshall Falk. True. Uh, jerseys, Warren Sapp. Uh, I could go on and on with the college because there's so much good stuff in the college. That's true. Uh, the one and four, even though there's only three photo headliners, there's so much good stuff as secondary hits in that one and four. And then I guess the one in uh, the vault. Oh, my goodness. The vault. I think I got a good feeling about the vault coming up here in the next couple of days. Oh, it's going to take off at some point. It's going to. That it definitely fact. will. All right, folks, 925. You got This is your final five minutes. If you guys want to make uh, some uh, action happen, let's make it happen now. If not, at uh, 28, I'll go ahead and do the, cha uh, the chase wheel spin for the vault. And then... Uh, I guess we'll end that on a good note and then uh, end the show. Give you guys uh, a good night to kind of relax and then uh, get ready for tomorrow for 12 o'clock show. And hopefully in the meantime, you'll sit there, continue to get to the break page overnight, get your spots ready for the new vault series. Because again, new day tomorrow and that means new people. Yeah. And when we get new people in the break room, you blink twice and you're like, well, that, that vault, it was like brand new everything. Well, sorry, you just didn't get in the perfect time when we said, get in the vault now. And you got an opportunity now, well, only four spots to go. Here's your chance to get whatever you can out of that vault. Right. Because tomorrow, it's going to be gone. It may be gone tomorrow. Because when new people see what's inside, like when they see that Rob and they're like, oh, right, they're going to get after They're going to be chasing. And we get people chasing all the time here in the break room. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to get after it. Oh, yes. I mean, a lot of people are interested in Patrick Mahomes. And like I said, that Patrick Mahomes is a one of a kind lid. I've never seen a lid like that with the feathers in the front and the flash in the black, uh, yeah. the fat, a flash in the back. I have never seen a lid like that. So Super that's got to be a right? one. Oh, it is. That is a clean lid. Uh, the Kurt Warner, that thing is awesome too. A lot of that blue, the yellow, the gold. I mean, 
This thing is absolutely beautiful too. So 927, one more minute. We'll go ahead and do that chase wheel spin for you folks. Uh, I'm going to get that list for you guys right now. One and two because it's twice. So got that list all set for you folks in that uh, Volt Chase Wheel Spin. All right, 28. So here we go. Here's the Chase Wheel Spin for that Volt. Whoever got in that old and new. So you guys got added twice. So Jeremy Leon all the way down to Chris Abermans. Eight times on the randomizer. After that, top spot heads over to the Chase Wheel Spin. Real they'll have a chance at a uh, gift card up to $100. So good luck, everybody. Here we go. Let's get it started. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final dice row. And our winner is going to be Jeremy Leon. Congratulations, okay, Jeremy. Jeremy. I believe you may be still in the break room. Let us know if you are in the break room because... You, sir, are going to the Chase Wheel Spin. We start this at 1, unless you have a number of your own choosing. If you do, we'll start it on that number for you. And after the spin, whatever it lands on will be the number of your gift card. So, Jeremy Leone, if you are still watching, go ahead and drop me a number of your choosing from 1 through 100. And we'll start your Chase Wheel Spin from that number. If not... After 10 seconds, I'll start this at 1, and whatever this lands on will be your gift card of that amount. So, in the meantime, thank you everybody that bought into tonight. You guys were phenomenal. You guys continue to impress me every single day, every single time I host or produce. You guys continue to do a phenomenal job at attacking the break page. So, continue to do a phenomenal job you guys keep us busy i'm not i lost my train of thought yeah but no worries without you guys our break room would not be where it's at but uh you guys continue to keep this break room uh live and um you know we keep getting new customers every single day so we're doing something right by doing uh getting everything into these break rooms yeah it's going great uh, I'm guessing Jeremy took the I don't name. think so. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Probably for the best to start on one anyway, so. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Here we go. Good luck, sir. Whatever this is, it'll be your dollar amount. So you, sir, are going home with $22. So Steven's going to send that on your way right now. And you should be get there shortly. So without yeah. further ado, ladies and gentlemen... It's been a wonderful Sunday night hosting this show with you folks. Again, our top headliners for tonight, the Barry Sanders on the camo and the Devontae Adams on your standard Las Vegas Raiders blade. Congratulate those that won those two helmets. If you like to see these helmets and other things like this, let's get to that break page. Buy those spots for, the, uh, for tomorrow for the noon o'clock. Again, Colin and Steven will be here for 12 o'clock, and then me and Colin will be here for 6 o'clock. Until then, have a wonderful, awesome night, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody, and a good start to the week. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 o'clock.